Are we live? We're live. We're live. I hope you got your big girl panties on. Hank Strange is in the building. We got the Tyvin show. It's just me and the Tyvin show hanging out. Yeah, mono a mono. Yeah, just us turkeys hanging out up in here. <laughs> Yes, I feel the turkey is all right here, buddy. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't know how the turkey apocalypse has treated everyone out there. I hope it was all well. I hope everyone was safe and happy and got to hang out with their family and had a good old time. We uh, we should have some other people joining us later. We should see Babyface popping in here at some point. And uh, even my friend Sam from Fortune Freedom should be dropping in. So what's up, everyone? Hope you guys are having a good time. This is the Who Move My Freedom podcast live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. This is episode 98. Wow, 98. Yeah, man. We're, we're just spitting them out. That is an achievement yeah. all by itself. Yeah, man. 98. We're approaching 100. We're getting there real, real, real fast. <laughs> so what's up wow. with you, Tyvin? How was the... How was the uh, Turkey apocalypse for you, my friend. Everything was good, but I was totally trolling Kevin and Walter with all of the pictures of the pumpkin pies. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Those yes. bastards in their pumpkin pies. Oh. Walter did like a little video. I was talking to Chris, and I guess he made like a little Facebook video of him slicing out a piece of pecan pie and was eating it out. But. Yeah. We uh, got done eating, man, and everybody did their like little family gathering, chit chat, and talking and everything. And then I went over and sat on the couch and <laughs> out. Yeah, I think I fell asleep like three or four times. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so how'd you how'd you go? Did family all that and everything? Yeah, everything was well. Everything was good. You know, did a lot of eating and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Try to get some work in. Um, you know, we're going to talk about that. We'll talk about all the sales that people have managed to take advantage of or not take advantage of. Maybe people out there are still looking for things that they haven't found yet. We'll talk about that. Let's go down the list here and shout out everyone who's hanging out with us so far. The Archangel is in the building. What's yeah. up, Archangel? He was number one. Chris Bullis. What's going on, Chris? Uh, we've also got Shut Up and Play Your Guitar in here, as well as LB Louis Cypher. There we go. Let's see who else is who else is in here so far. And might I remind everyone, click the thumbs up, please. Let's see how many thumbs up we can get going right now. Click the thumbs up. Make sure to share this with your friends and family. Okay, we appreciate that. Let folks know that we're here. We're live on the air, and we're doing it, we're doing it, and doing it, and doing, doing it. it right. Doing okay, it. Mark Wagner. <laughs> What's going on, Mark? Um, I, I forgot what did Mark. Oh, Mark said he's looking for a DMK 22 for anyone who knows uh, where there's a good deal on one of those. I uh, just saw one at a store today that I was shopping and I went and had lunch with the wife and did all my little errands and everything. And I actually stopped by the gun store. Uh, I saw more people hunting or not hunting, uh, purchasing compound bows. Uh, arrows targets winter clothing and stuff they did have some really good deals on some ammo there but there was like one guy at the gun counter and i was really surprised but walmart was packed okay walmart okay and you're in ohio right yes sir uh um, right over just east of columbus about an hour or so zanesville area okay yeah. okay very cool very cool um did I mention Shut Up and Play Your Guitar? I think I did. Yak Yakker 94 is also in here. Uh, let's see who else is. I'm, I'm trying to go down. And if I miss anyone, please let me know. I think I said Chris B. Chris as B. As well already. Shout out to Chris B. Who's in here. By the way, um, I'm also live on YouTube as well. Broadcasting over with the Hank Strange. So uh, make sure you guys support Hank on my end. Uh, make sure you guys go over and check out Hank and support. Absolutely. Can the people see me on your YouTube thing? Yes, sir. I'm going okay. over there right now. What's up, people? <laughs> In Tyvin World. Okay, I think uh, Chris Bullis, Gorillas and Guns, Greg98K. What's going on? Let's see. David G, Keith Gregory, Tony Cantrell, MW Tactical, also in here. E-Rock, uh, Music Lover, Giles Henry Michael Jr., um, there you go. So what's up to everyone? If I miss someone, just let me know. It's big, uh, who, what's this? It's big Mike 
So what's going on, Mike? Yeah. So if I missed anyone in that, which I'm sure I did, just let me know and I will give you a shout out. Um, Gorillas and Guns says his Walmart was unusually mild. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Walmarts are always crazy. Didn't Walmart start early this year to help avoid, uh, like, um, you know, avoid all the craziness? Um, honestly, uh, I'm not sure, sir. Oh, okay. Um, I see Rock Humper just jumped in. So what's going on, guys? Don't forget to click the thumbs up. Let's see how many thumbs up we can get going tonight. Last night, we got to 100 thumbs ups. Come yes. On. We, we should be able to get to 100 thumbs ups tonight. Guess what? Tyvin is giving away more meat. Yeah. Give you a quick lowdown. All right. You go uh, getting hooked up with some Omaha right there. You can see it flay. Mignon, we're going to give away two five ounce filet mignons right there, as you can see it over there. Uh, courtesy of Hank Strange, myself, the Tyvin Show, and uh, Omaha Steaks. Also, John over at Binary X, he is going to let us give away two of the five pound high velocity exploding targets so it's going to be an awesome we'll do that one giveaway at the first hour and then we'll give the other two away in the second hour and we'll, we'll let oh everybody's eligible but me yeah. so okay mrs lola <laughs> was trying really really hard to win last time so is is lola eligible is that what you're yes oh, everybody's lola, you're eligible, eligible for the meat tyvon wants to give you his meat no no easy now <laughs> i give her the omaha steak the Omaha Steaks. <laughs> yeah, so uh, shout out to Icy Muffin 619 He says, hello, I came over from Tyvin Stream. What's up? Okay, um, also, Keith Gregory gave us a thumbs up. David Baldner gave us a thumbs up. Uh, Giles, Giles Henry Michael Jr. says, everyone watching should thumbs up. Come on. Come on, guys. You can do it. Thumbs, you up, can do thumbs it. up. Um, Opt out of gun control is in here. He says, I stayed... Far away from Walmart as I could today. <laughs> really? Yeah. Traffic so supposedly go. wasn't bad. I got in town right around 9 30, 10 o'clock, and mm -hmm. everybody was already at the stores. Traffic wasn't too bad. We went and had lunch with the wife. And then, I, like I said, I stopped over to the gun store. I went over to the AT&T store to see what kind of deals they had on some phones and stuff. And then I came home and jumped on. We did a live stream earlier and played some Call of Duty. And that was about it. Okay, very cool. Recall Junkie 1981 gave us the thumbs up. Yeah, thank you all for that. I appreciate it. Uh, and Crispy said, of course, liked and shared. So thank you, Crispy. We appreciate it. Sure. Um, yes, by the way, Chris, your order went in today with Omaha Steaks. He was the winner of the Wednesday night uh, podcast. Yes, Crispy. Yes, absolutely. So, um, yeah, so your steaks are on the way. Yeah. Uh, the other Crispy, Chris Bullis, says, I don't know about our Walmart. I'll ask my wife when she gets home. The place she works is right next to Walmart. Really? So, yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> you know, um, I actually I went out. I went to hang out with uh, Babyface in Gainesville because he got like he got an early Christmas present. He actually got a milling machine from Walter from Safety Harbor Firearms. So I went to hang out with him and supervise while he installed it which I was very good. I was very good at supervising. He so posted he, a picture of the uh, engine hoist to trying to carry it, carry it into the house there or where his shop yeah. or wherever it is. Yeah, I think I took a picture of the, uh, let me see if I can find that picture here in all my my uh, my pictures that I took today, which yes. I was taking quite a few. Make sure you guys follow Hank so, on Facebook and all there that you stuff. Go. That's his mill. That's the milling machine there in the studio. I don't know if you guys can see it or if it's like a little washed out. A little there, bit. But there you go. I'll lock it on me. So I was nice, gonna ask nice what milling was machine up in there now, so we could we could do some extra some extra curricular activities. Yes, sir. I wonder well, what those machines run. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't know that much about these machines at all. I'm going to assume maybe it's like a thousand bucks or something like that. Oh, no, it's got to be more than that. A good drill press is a grand. Oh, okay. See that? Well, I have no idea. Oh, baby girl. 
stuff. But yeah, uh, I'm not a safety harbor tools place kind of guy. Mm -hmm. uh, but once in a while, they do have some good deals and some. You mean harbor things. like harbor freight? Oh, harbor freights. Harbor, harbor freight. freight. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I had Walter on the brain. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, good luck. But, uh, once in a while, they do have some good quality tools that comes in, but you really got to watch and be particular when you're buying your tools and stuff. Um, I just got my welding tanks, oxygen tank, saline tank, and I bought a 500 foot roll of welding rod. And we're going to be doing some uh, live events out in my garage on how to make cheap targets without spending the big money. Because oh, cool. a lot of farm, farm guys like me, we don't throw steel away. We keep everything. Rotors, scrap steel, angle iron. Or if you see something or somebody's throwing something away, dude, I'll snatch steel. And it's a good way to make it because 22s um, up to about a 40, 45, you can use just regular steel. And you don't have to spend the high dollar uh, a, to buy the, the AR-400 or AR-500 steel unless you're using like rifles. So if you got a 22 to a 9 millimeter and you've got some scrap steel laying around, um, utilize that steel and save yourself some money. Plus, you take pride in building your own targets and stuff. So if you got any questions, just YouTube on different things, different uh, companies on how they make stuff. But you got to be careful of the copyright laws. You can't make an exact copy because then you're infringing on their rights. So, But just okay. be creative. Okay, very cool. Sleeping Angel says, "Hey, I dropped a like, sir. I came from the Tywin stream." So yeah. Shout out and thank you to Sleeping Angels. Good guy. Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, and then I think some people said that they did see, um, you know, they did see the thing. Now let's see what else here. There was something else I was gonna. Uh, let's see. Jackson Oldman says his wife is a pharmacist at Walmart. She hates Black Friday because it's the slowest day of the year for them in the pharmacy. Really? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Lola actually used to be a pharmacist for Walmart. Okay. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, Lola is a pharmacist, and she's walked, worked for lots of different places, including like the, the Walmarts. Head, huh? The head person at the pharmacy? Yep. Yep. She was the pharmacy manager. You know? She, I mean, Sugar she, mama. Yeah. She's been a pharmacist now for like 20 years. Really? Yeah. That's so. an interesting trait, I tell you, man. Because some of those names on medicines, how do they come up with them? And half of them you can't even pronounce. Yeah. And some of them are ridiculously expensive. So, Yes. Um, they just implemented all of the uh, narcotics laws that Trump passed here, I don't know, a month or so ago. Um, they limited a lot. Like if you got a, a special controlled substance, you can't have more than a seven-day script. Okay. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. It's uh, a lot of the people, the older generation, man, they just cause a lot more leg work, gas money, and wear and tear on your car just so you can maintain your own health. It's it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. The Walmart. Okay, so let's see. Um, we you know we're gonna talk about a bunch of different things. Um we're gonna talk about sales that are still going on out there. Did you pick up anything on Black Friday sales? Honestly, sir, I looked high and low, and for my critique of what I'm looking right now, I think I'm just going to stick to getting some ammo. So I'm looking for my best ammo deals. Uh, winter's here. I am a disabled veteran. I can't be out in the cold for long periods of time. So I stockpile everything and buy whatever I need up to springtime, and then I go out to the gun ranges and have fun. So right now, ammo, I would like to have the pistol that we had discussed. Um, uh, I stopped at a couple pawn shops to look and see what they had. There was a couple old Colt Army nine millimeters that was there, and there was a 145. Man, they were so beat up and pitted and just bad. And the guy wanted three thousand dollars for it. Okay. So I just couldn't see the deal in it. I tried to talk him down. No, not happening. Okay. Okay, interesting. Um, so which pistol were you talking about? Are you talking about the PMR-30? Uh, yes, the Caltech ones that you were uh, yeah. so, on your live stream or on yeah. your video. Yeah, and we're going to go go down a list of um, links that we have in our description if, if folks are still looking for stuff out there. But uh, one of the links in the description is gunprime.com. And it's it, there's a link there that you guys can click through our description and go to that. And they have several Caltech guns. They have the uh, CMR. 
They have the Sub 2000, they have the KSG, and they have the PMR30. As a matter of fact, the PMR30 is 339, which is actually a pretty good price for the PMR30. So it's not okay. any kind of super sale, but it's a reasonable price for the PMR30. Right. Wow, I'm I looking think. at it right so, here right now. Wow, dude. It yeah. just looks like a good ergonomic gun. Yes, yeah, lightweight, like I've said before, you know, if um, you know, you have to realize that it's 22 Magnum, it's rim fire, so there's things that go along with that. Yeah. You know, and, and and just be aware of the manual of arms of whatever you're using and the particular things going on with it. And of course, um, you know, use it before you need it. <laughs> So there you yes. go. Um, MW Tactical just gave us five bucks, and he says, this is my Christmas present. Until I send more, we will hit up the range. Okay, thank you very much, MW Tactical. We appreciate that. There That's you go. Nice. How much did you say that pistol was? Um, when I'm looking at it here, and it says, uh, let me see, it says 339. Because I'm on um, Caltech's website right now. Mm -hmm. 22 WMR, 40 ounce, 5.56 five, grain, magazine 30, overall length 7, 9 inches, mm -hmm. barrel 4 and 3 height. Anyhow, uh, MSRP is 454.55. Okay. Yeah, so that's a good that's a good price then on the PMR. Yes. Oh, do you have your links to your... Um, what? Brownells in your thing right there? Yes, I do. We've got Brownells linked in there as well. Uh, could so. you post a link so I can show it over on my stream? Okay, to Brownells? In, in the chat. Uh, yeah, to the chat, to your link. Okay, hold on a second. You want the specifically the Brownells one, right? Yeah, the one that way they could get 10% off. Okay, um, I will pull that up right now. If you'd be so kind. So shout out to everybody in my stream, Sponge Car, Evan, Shannon, Brad, what's up? Travis, Keith, Moto Bikers, Big Bullet, it's big MYK. You go, I see muffin. Just sent you the Brownells one and then I'm looking for the I'll send you the gun prime one as well for anyone that um is interested in Caltech stuff that wants to get that. So I just sent those two to you. Um okay, you, hey, you know go ahead. What's I want to tell everybody about this link that you're sending me because I'm showing it. Right. So if you like to tell everybody about it and what's going on with your right. uh, site there. Okay, so we have a bunch of links in our description for anyone who's looking at my video. Even if you're looking at Simon's video, you can go over to YouTube. We have a bunch of links in there. Uh, the number one one is Brownells, and Brownells is helping us to, uh, to bring all of this to you. See, here's my uh, Brownells badge right there, Bureau of Propaganda. Official yeah. representative. <laughs> so anyway, so what Brownells did was they created a specific landing page for us, and that link takes you to the landing page. So when you go through that landing page, there's an additional 10% off anything on Brownells, anything on Brownells. We've got some sales that we picked out that's in the landing page, and you also get um, free shipping with anything over, any orders over 50 bucks. But when you go in, at the end of, of everything, put in the promo code MEF, which I don't know how you military guys say it. What is it? Uh, Mike. Oh, I knew he was going to ask that. Epsilon Flalipula? No, no, anyway. What is it? M, M Mike, what? MEF. Uh, Mike Foxtrot Echo. No, Mike Echo Foxtrot. Mike Echo yeah, Mike Echo Fox. Yeah, so there you go. All right, so you put in that code, and what will happen is Brownells has a bunch of stuff on sale on their site already. If you go through our link, you get 10% off anything that's already there. So if they've got things that are already on sale, you get an extra 10% off of that. And if you uh, spend over 50 bucks, you get free shipping. And then what you do is at the end of everything, you put in the code MEF. So Mike Echo Foxtrot is... Uh, Tyvin is telling us there, and you know you could you could get some pretty good deals. Lola was uh, looking it up. There's some good deals on ammo and, and, and quite a few other things, and that goes all the way up till the 26th. They have so an AR-15 lower, 80% off. It's 34.99. Yeah. yeah for an AR lower. Yeah. There you go. That's cheap. 
Absolutely. I, I hear Cherry Wine saying that's a no-no. Is she talking to you or is she playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she sits right over here. We've got a big, long couch right here. Uh-huh. And then she's actually playing Call of Duty. Or I'll show you guys real quick. She's playing Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, she's playing Call of Duty. Cherry, she's you want to say hi? Duty mama. Wave so they can see your hands. There she is. Yeah, so what's up? I know my audience can't necessarily see Cherry. We can't see her, but that's cool. Yeah. If they see me on the on your on there, I just turned my camera around so they could see her. Oh no, that didn't show up on my thing, but I'm not sure what my audience. Really? Yeah, Tyvin's doing double duty for anyone who feels like Tyvin's being a little schizophrenic tonight. So he's we're broadcasting on my channel as well as his channel. Whatever, this is how Tyvin gets down, so it's cool. Well, I just um, wanted to bring you over to my audience because I really like what you do and everything, and to be a part of your podcast. It's an honor, and I like what you do, and I'm trying to get back into the guns. I mainly do, like, gaming videos and stuff and trucking, but I wanted to let my audience know about you and what you do and in the podcast and standing up for the Second Amendment and, like, we were just talking about the big deals and everything. Um, a lot of people are not aware of this kind of stuff, and that's why I wanted to live stream on my channel as well. That way everybody knows about you, what you're, what you're doing, what's going on with you, um, we did do an interview with you a while back, so I will go back in and post the link into that. But I just I want everybody on my audience to know about you and what you do and what you stand for. Absolutely. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, and the same here. You know, I think you're a good guy, so I want the guys out there to, um, you know, show Tyvin some support. If you look in the uh, description as well, you'll see a, a link to Tyvin's YouTube channel. But it's called The Tyvin Show, so it shouldn't be too hard yes, for you to find it. You know, if you just search for that. So, you know what? We've got a bunch of links in there. So, we might as well run down those here in the beginning of the of the thing. So, other than Brownells, you know, I mean, the Brownells thing is pretty big. And I think you can get a lot of deals. Brownells is adding deals every day. So, if you go through our link, like I said, you'll get an additional 10% off. And you need to put in the code MEF. Um, Amazon has some deals going on. Lola found a... A Dremel 4000 for 44 bucks on Amazon. Wow. So that's, I mean, that's pretty well kitted out. I, I think I pulled up a link of it here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it now. But um, yeah, that's a pretty, you know, everyone needs a Dremel. I've got a really, my Dremel is from like uh, the year 2001 or something like that, you know? Right. So. With all the pieces. Oh, so here we go. So it's got all these different, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got all these different pieces and everything in here with this Dremel. So there is a link in the description for that. 44 bucks. That's pretty cool. Comes with the case and all the different pieces, etc. Um, what? It's got 30 accessories and attachments. Yeah, Lola says it has 30 right accessories back. and attachments. So there you go. Um, there you go. I accidentally hung up. I called back. Who accidentally hung up? Was that? I did. Yeah, oh, you I, called back? Uh, I didn't even notice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rock Opera, just subscribe. Thanks, sir. Yeah. So there you go. Um, so we've got we've got an Amazon link. Amazon has lots of things going on. Um, S, don't forget that Safety Harbor Firearms KES stocks, 20% off. I think um, as well as their like regular steel stocks that they make for the 50s, which you could put on a bunch of different guns. So Safety Harbor Firearms has the KES stocks 20% off. I think all the stocks are 20% off except for the new one that's out for the CZ Scorpion, which they're selling that for $199, which is basically what it costs for them to make it at this point. That's new and coming out. So you can get your hands on those when they ship uh, by doing that. Klecker Knives has a 30% off code that's also in the description. So you can go to Klecker Knives. Have you ever heard of Klecker Knives? Uh, is that the one that you was describing to me before the uh, the stream? Yeah. Klecker no, not you said knives. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I have not. Yeah, Klecker Knives. Um, here, let me see. I'm gonna go pull them up. You can go look at them. They've got a bunch of cool things. They've got i they've got iPhone cases, all kinds of knives, etc. I'll put a link in here for you. Wait a second. Okay. Let's see where is Please. it? Um, I'll put it in there for you. And if I can, let me see, I'll probably put it in the chat so the folks watching us in the chat, if they, if it will allow me, boom, okay. I put that in the chat as well so you guys can see it. Klecker knives, they make some uh, really nice knife stuff and multi-tools and all that. Um, I found oh, out about wow. them through the late Boy Scout, so. Oh, got, I like that hatchet that's on the first page. 
That lumberjack. Yeah. So the thing is, is that now I know you're looking at them through there, but if you go back through to our uh, description, uh -huh. you know, you will find that there's a um, there's a thirty percent off code, and it's in the description. So um, you know, for anyone who's interested in that, as well as we've got Optics Planet has got a bunch of deals going on, and there is a link in our description that you guys can click and go through Optics Planet. I mentioned Gun Prime. They've got some good deals going on Caltex right now. And uh, Stag Arms has some amazing deals, people. Stag Arms, like uh, in some cases, 50% off of their rifles on their page. Really? Yes. And you know Stag Arms makes um, some good stuff. So, yeah, they've got American flag engraved bolt that's normally $174.99. That's $149. Um, they've got... Uh, They've got, an, and that is a left hand bolt, bolt carrier. They've got the right hand. Um, they've got a 16 inch barrel that's usually $149.99 for $69. They've got a magazine bundle that's usually $100 bucks for $54. Yeah, we could just keep going down. They've, they've, uh, they've got an entire uh, Stag 15L M lock, 15 inch free float, which is usually $900. They have it for $499. Wow, that's like half off. Yeah, so I know that there's supposed to be some cheaper deals on full guns out there, but Stag Arms, uh, bless you, Lola, Stag Arms makes some really good quality guns. They also make left-handed rifles for all those people out there that were born mutated, <laughs> left-handed. <laughs> can, can I so, ask you a quick question? Uh, no. What is your preferred barrel length that you like on your rifles? I mean, what's, what's, what do you think is the best length for you? Um, you know, I, honestly, I think uh, I just go with the standard length, which is like 16, unless I'm built, it's an SBR or something like that. Um, and then it really depends on on what it is, right? With the 300 blackout, you can go shorter. Right. You know, um, with the 308, sometimes you go a little bit longer. It's, it's you know, it's more 16, effective. 18. Longer barrels give you also are more quiet if you're going to suppress them. So yes. it, really, it really depends to me on what I'm using it for. But traditionally, you know, I'm just going with, with uh, however the gun comes, if it's a 16-inch barrel. If I want to make an SBR, I either do a pistol or an SBR once I do all the paperwork. Okay. And then it really depends on, on what it is that we're looking at. So. Okay. Um, so that, you know, obviously that gets uh, complicated. Vanessa Kitty says shorter for 22 LR, which is true. Yes. Um, so there you go. So, okay, so we, we talked about Stag Arms. They've got ridiculous deals. We have a link in the thing. If, you, if you're if you interested in Stag Arms, they make good quality stuff. Also, we have a link for Primary Arms Optics. So we have a bunch of Primary Arms op Optics there. And if you click through our link, you get free shipping plus either the mount or the scope rings, whatever is applicable from uh, Primary Arms, so that's uh, you know that's a pretty good deal. Faxon has 10% off store-wide, and we have a, 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 we have a link for that as well. So I'll come back and cover all of these as we go forward here in, in, you know, in this Hangout tonight for anyone who's interested. Um, but I just figured I'd try to get to that at the top. Let us know what deals you guys have come across, what things you're looking for. I'm in the market for a 9mm nine um, upper. So I've been looking for that. Like I want side charging, but that seems to be very popular this who, year. Well, who makes that? Who makes a side charging nine millimeter upper? Um, there's a few of them. I think Frontier Armory makes one. Okay. You know, um, and there's some other companies that make them. So I just, you know, I, I'm on the lookout for that. If anyone sees a good deal that those are actually available, I've been looking. I've been looking at a few of them, but. Um, when I find something nice, it's all, it's already sold out. So there you go. Yeah. There's been a lot of stuff come up. I mean, we did, uh, the show there Wednesday for the black Friday. And then when I checked my emails today, man, my emails just got rocked with discount sales. Really? Black yeah. Friday sales. Everybody's got a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. What this, you this, this, oh, just water. I'm just drinking uh, this water. From my uh, Hank Strange tagged up Yeti. There you go. My Yeti flask with Hank Strange, with the Hank there Strange logo on it. It's a little thirsty, a little thirsty. 
I forgot about it. I was going to put my gas mask on when we started the live stream. I totally forgot about it. Oh, yeah, man. You know what? I don't have my gas mask here either. I got to bring – I have to bring them through. So oh, hold on. Uh-oh. Simon's getting the gas mask. I got to show you mine. I've got an original gas mask that we had when I was in the Army. I mean, this is the original deal that we had. So it's is that awesome. what is that a canvas? It's in a canvas bag. Is that what I saw? Yeah, the actual green canvas army bag. Okay. Uh, I found this one, and it actually has the uh, the book and everything in it. The original pouch, everything. It, this actually had the decon straps in it, uh, stuff in it too. But I couldn't pass it up. It was all original. I found it at the Army Navy store. But it's it's got the original owner's manual and everything in it. Oh, okay, just like, cool. Just like I had when I was in the army. Nice, nice. And uh, uh, was it expensive? Uh, I actually paid like forty five dollars for it. it. I got a good deal. Oh, forty five. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, so yep. uh, it looks like some folks. The archangel wants Gorn. He wants Gorn time. He says it's Gorn time. For anyone who doesn't know, for all of Tyvin's people that are coming in, gun is gun porn. Gorn is gun porn. Yes. So that's what the Gorn is. So do you have some guns you want to show? I've oh, got yeah. some on the wall behind me, but you should talk about what you have first. Right right there real quick. That is the uh, paper chemical agent. Okay, I can't, I can't see it on my thing. Hold it up. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Go to the left. Go, go. Well, I don't know. Right. Go right then. Right, right. No, go to your other right. Yeah, we're not seeing oh, it. Oh, we're over, over here. So, yeah, you're we're on there. This there one. we go. Boom. My fault. Paper chemical agent detector. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I got yes. two cameras. One for my live stream and one for yours. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. No, well, that's fine. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's show the people what the people want to see. Um, well, everybody's pretty much saw all my stuff. Um, if you'd like to go ahead and start. Yeah, I'll do that. Steve Pro 2A says, got the Geisley SSAE from Brownells with coupon for 162 shipped. I've wanted one for a long time, and that's a deal. Very cool. Uh, Good deal. Mark Wagner says, uh, Hank Strange, are you looking for a complete or just receiver on that 9mm side charger? There was a complete one at Franklin Armory, but um, it's no longer there. Uh, either one doesn't matter. I'm, I'm looking for a nice uh, side charging 9mm which will be good. Vanessa Kitty said that's the old testing strips. Yes. So there you go. All right, I'm going to show something new. So we were yeah. talking about Brownells, right? Brownells helped us out and gave us, like, all these exclusives and a landing page and everything on their site. This is a Polymer 80 Glock build here that we did, and this color is exclusive with Brownells. They have this, this gray, and I think they have another color. Um, I think it's brown. If I'm not mistaken, but this is the exclusive. Brown, FDE. Okay, Lola says gray, brown, FDE. So there you go. Um, so we've built up everything here with this gun from Brownell stuff, except for my uh, treasure con that's on top. But the slide, which is a, a polymer 80 slide, barrel, all that kind of good stuff, trigger everything we got from Brownells. We have a video coming out on this pretty soon, but here, I'll share it with you guys. You know, so. We're almost done. We're not all the way done. Um, I actually there was a there was a part I forgot to order, and then there was something else I broke. So we got you know, waiting for those to get shipped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that always happens when you're when you're doing a build. But there you go, there you go. Glock 19 build up. It's pretty nice. I like the aggressive texture on there. Yeah. So we are building that up. Um, have you got something yet? It looks like you've got. Um, yeah, I got my guns going. right here, buddy. Yeah. Bow wow. <laughs> All right. This is my in-house uh, protection. Yeah, security system. <laughs> my security system right there. I'm telling you what, this little puppet dog's got some lips on him, man. Oh yeah, the little dogs are always oh. the bark the loudest, man. Yeah, this is Bandit. Oh, okay. So these these are my guns right now. I had to show you. Yeah, he says, I got my guns right here. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, 
a lot of guys, you, you said, do your. Did you, your did you say you felt like showing? You felt like showing some knives today? Or, no, what was that? What do you got? Yeah. Well, you know, everybody likes to get like you have your upper. Um, I'm a big revolver fan. You guys have seen this one before. Um, this is my 357 Ruger, and I really dig it. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this gun. It's very accurate. Uh, I'm not much of a big fan for the rubber grips. I might switch it out and get me some, like, wood. But, you know, revolvers are really good. Uh, and a lot of people, I don't think, uh, they don't think is a traditional purchase anymore. Okay. So, but uh, revolvers, you just can't go wrong. They never fail. Yeah, I think uh, revolvers are coming back in some people's eyes. There's some revolvers out there that I wouldn't mind having. Um, you know, we've yes. talked about that before, I believe. Yes. So. And then, of course, the samurai sword. Always good to keep in the corner in case something happens. You run out of ammo, you can slice your way through. Nothing wrong with having, like, an extra samurai sword laying around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why not? Absolutely. So that one's sharpened and everything, right? Oh, yes. I wanted to make some videos about slicing through some watermelons and, and cantaloupe and, you know, see if I can slice through a baseball. Uh, this was my grandpa's sword that, that passed away here a few months back. Um, he was a fifth degree black belt and he did all that kind of stuff. So I got ended up getting part of it. Uh, some of that and some other stuff back after he had passed. So we got some stuff coming up. Okay, cool. Very nice. Um, yeah, I remember that when that happened. Yeah. So there you go. Okay. Um, you know what else is on the wall here? This is the Krebs Custom KV13. Let me see if I can get this out here. Here we go. Man. Without making a big mess out of it. So here's the KV13 Mod 2 from Krebs Customs with the Liberty A Chaotic Suppressor up on there. There you go. Check that out. You can actually uh, win one of these. Uh, Krebs has the Krebs Custom Raffle going on. So I want to encourage everyone to go participate in that. It's going until de December 1st. And it's basically 20 bucks a ticket. I think they've limited it to 2,500 tickets. Yes. Um, and it's for a good cause, right? We've spoken about this here several times. Um, a very good customer, a loyal customer and friend of Krebs Customs. has hit on some hard times, had to sell all his guns etc because his wife has cancer and um, you know they're going through some really tough times so in order to help them out Krebs decided to put this as well as some other guns up in a raffle that you guys could potentially win so if not this there's another Krebs custom gun in there um, you, you money can, well spent for a raffle ticket yes Can't beat it. yeah absolutely let me see if I could we've, we've got some videos on this for anyone who's interested but um, you know, there's. Uh, I think that uh, Jim Fuller added a class with Jim Fuller where you can build an AK, an AK class. That's pretty cool. There's parts and things like that in there. So very good cause. And um, if you spend a hundred bucks, you get like six entries, six tickets into that thing. So yes. you know, this this is like amazing. If you can win this, if you live in a state where you can't have a suppressor, I think they give you. Um, a serious amount of ammo. Can't remember exactly what right now without pulling it up. But uh, just search Krebs Custom Raffle, and you'll see we have a few videos on it. Um, you can you can find the link. I think it's on Raffle Copter or something like that. And th that's how you participate in that for anyone who is interested right. in doing that. You know, and, and and like I said, I believe there's a bunch of other deals. Uh, Pro Two A says it's three thousand rounds, which yeah, that's pretty awesome. You know. Yes, sir. You could not beat that. I see we've got Safety Harbor Firearms in the chat. I know. Happy anniversary to, to Walter and yes. Peggy Killer Keller. Shout yeah, out to Walter. <laughs> hey, stay away from the pecan pie. Pumpkin's better. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. No, it's not. Pumpkin's not better. <laughs> Leave the pumpkin pie out in the patch. Yes, yeah. sir. Pumpkin pies my, uh, are evil. <laughs> And my other little baby is this one right here. Uh, we've been working on this one for a little while. This is the HM Defense monoblock uh, setup. And then we're still got some videos coming out right here with the uh, ATN day and night scope. I'm working on that. Um, we've got some stuff coming out. But uh, they yeah, I also have one of those that we're testing. So we'll have some stuff on it as well. 
Yes. Uh, uh, DJ Blaze won the Battle Bolt from HM Defense. We did part of the giveaway yesterday. But mm -hmm. uh, this one's a neat little one. This one right here is actually the muzzle brake is uh, part of the barrel. It's not mm -hmm. a screw in attachment. And then uh, with everything, I've had some really good fun and good luck and some really good shooting with this, especially with Chris B. We had our tennis ball shootout. I was going to ask you about that. Um, if you set your tennis balls out, I like on a take it like a wood screw, drill a wood screw through it, and then tie like a piece of fishing string to it, and then run your two by four across, mm -hmm. and then um, tie the fishing string to it. You can tag a uh, a tennis ball like I don't know 15, 20 times before it even shreds. You all day long with a pistol or at a hundred yards with a five five six, it goes right through it. And then we were chasing it. He would shoot it, and then as it was swinging, I had to shoot it. And then if mm -hmm. you missed, you had to switch. But we're going to start like a tennis ball shooting challenge. Okay, very cool. That sounds that yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. You know, moving targets are always better practice. <laughs> oh, it's a lot yeah. harder, but it's it's fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Let me just go. Okay, that thing, the uh, Krebs Custom Raffles on Raffle Creator. Like I said, um, and I, I believe it's ending December first, and then Krebs is going to come on here live, and we're going to talk about it. So right now it is the KB13 Mod 2, and then um, the Krebs. The other gun is the Krebs Yugoslavian M90A rifle. Okay, Ooh. then there's a, a MB47 AK47 receiver that you can win. Some accessories from Circle 10 AK, um, and as well as the um, there's a prize from Jim Fuller where you get to have a class with him. I think all you have to really supply for that class is the materials, but it's a one-on-one -on -one, a class with Jim Fuller. So if you think about that, um, you're looking at lots of different prizes there it's not like one person's not winning all of that those are all the different prizes that are involved there and I'll, i'm going to see if i could let me put this in the chat so folks can check it out they want to check it out um, and i don't know if you've seen it Ivan, but i'll throw yes. it here so you can if you want if you wanted to share it with your uh with the separate audience yeah. out there yeah. if they're interested i think that it's a really like you just stuck in the chat yeah absolutely okay. and i think it's a good thing to do and uh, you know you can help out someone, which is always good to do to help out other people. But you you stand a pretty good chance of winning something awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah I'm showing showing the link right now. I will copy and paste it and put it in the chat. Okay, absolutely. Um, so Vanessa Kitty says, "Do you want me to visit the tennis ball factory and pick up reject tennis balls?" Hey, that works. Free tennis balls work, man. I, I yeah, ain't got absolutely. no issues. Yeah. So I go. apologize, everybody. I'm getting a little lag through Google Google on my end, so I apologize. Oh no, that's cool. That's cool. So um, looks like everyone was was saying happy anniversary to Walter. So yes, there you sir. go. That's that's very nice for Walter. Um, so any new stuff that's going on, man? Anything going on in the news that you want to talk about? Nah, just. Some of the stuff, I mean, actually the last couple of days have been really positive and I haven't seen too much negative stuff. Um, there, I guess there was another shooting down in Texas or something. Um, the the guy, was it the uh, patrol officer down there? I guess him and another buddy got jumped and then was the beaten to death. One guy was beaten to death with a rock. They didn't even use a gun. Mm -hmm. uh, that's about it. Other than that, everybody's been like really nice and polite the last couple of days. It's just, it's odd because you usually don't see that. You know, everybody's always rude or me, myself, and I, and, you know, get out of my way. It's been actually nice the last couple of days. Okay. Well, you know, here in America, maybe relatively, I know in Egypt there was an attack. Really? Yeah. There was an attack on a, a Sufi mosque in Egypt. So okay. if you're familiar with that whole situation, the Sufi uh, Muslims are a little bit different. They're a little bit more mystical than uh, what you would consider your traditional Muslim. So, yeah, there was an attack there, and I believe they killed a couple, what was it, 235 uh, is the death count right now in Egypt. So. Wow. Yeah, basically there, let me see, I'll pull up something here. Because um, I, I believe there was like an you know, they did the attack, and then when people came out or were looking for help, then they attacked them again, you know, kind of ISIS-style 
the attack was, you know, you know how they do it, right? Yeah. yeah. Didn't that one guy come that in to help there? and then they take out those people? Yeah. Didn't the one guy that they had him um, barricaded in his house underneath house of arrest? Didn't he finally decide to go ahead and give up and let somebody else be president? The guy was like ninety something. Um, who are you talking about, Mugabe or? I didn't catch his name. I apologize. Oh, okay. All right. uh, but yeah. the the military overthrew the government and they put him underneath house arrest. He was trying to give the presidency to his wife or something, mm -hmm. and then he finally decided, okay, we'll have elections. I'm done. I can't remember what the guy's name was. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, but he'd been president for like 50 years or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> everything has to come to an end. That's what I could say about that one. You know, yes, sir. Um, let me see what else is in here. Um, okay. looks like there's, um, there's someone who thought who was out hunting and he saw something he thought was a deer wound up being his neighbor. So he fired wow. and looks like she got she got killed there. You gotta be really careful when you're out hunting. And when you're out during hunting season, you also need to be careful. You know, when you're moving around in the woods. Just don't so. wear a camo when you're out deer hunting. Wear orange. People can see orange. Yeah. They wanna be all tactical when they're going out and hunting and everything. Look. <laughs> yeah, Where's so he thought he saw a deer and fired his pistol. Now his neighbor is dead. So let's see. So okay, are they going to file him for uh, murder? Or are they going to get him for uh, firing and shooting a deer without a deer tag and a hunting license? Because he used a pistol. Mm -hmm. You know, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. And then I seen uh, what's his name Feinstein was trying to pass more laws for gun control. Uh, what's his name from? Um, uh, was it John Patton, the uh, gun collective? He mm -hmm. did a video about it where they're trying to pass more legislation about all that stuff. I'm like, look, yeah. all these people are in direct violation of their oath of office. If they want to stop all these gun laws, just go after them for their oath of office. You know? Well, listen, we, we, already have, we already have too many laws on the books, and they yeah. need to try to uh, enforce what's ex existing before they put other things in there. The big, you know, I think they're just trying to – the way they're trying to sell it is they're tightening up existing um, – what is it, the gun checks or the – you know, all that. But, I mean, we don't need laws to tighten it up. There's already laws. Just do what you're supposed to do there. Just enforce it. And like they well, say, I worry about know? when they try to put new laws into effect because basically what happens is they sneak in some stuff in there that we don't, you know. Yeah. They were we trying to uh, it's too late. pass in Indiana if you uh, – something about animal cruelty or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, that you are now barred from buying a rifle or a gun whatever. Well, okay, look at it this way. If I'm out deer hunting and this guy over here is anti-gun – and he says, well, he's cruelty to animals. He shot and killed this animal. Okay, well, I'm feeding my family. Mm -hmm. But this person thinks it's cruelty to animals because you killed a deer. They filed charges. Well, then you can never buy a gun anymore because it's cruelty to animals. Yeah. I mean. There's, yeah, there's lots of crazy. I'm so there. frustrated with the stupidity and the ignorance of some of the people in society in regards to weapons. You know, you can say gun, gun, guns do this, guns, guns do that. But you know what? Millions of people, hundreds of millions of people go to sleep every night underneath the safety of a gun. They might not have it. Their neighbor, neighbor might have one. Or the guy down the street. Guns protect more people than they hurt people. Mm -hmm. By a, a, like 99% majority. Yeah. And they don't understand that stuff. I, I it's ignorance. Absolutely, man. I understand where you're coming from. Obviously, you're preaching to the choir. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just frustrated, yeah, man. I know. I'm just so yeah. frustrated with everything that's going on. We have to just try to keep an eye on all these people and make sure they don't sneak anything by us because that's their intent. What they're trying to do is sneak some stuff in, um, you know, under the radar. And uh, yeah, I think we need to look out for that and make sure that we don't get caught up in that. So... Uh, yep. Keith Gregory says the Second Amendment is the only gun law we need. <laughs> hey, so thumbs it up. Go. Times two. Yeah, hell's yeah. Uh, sure. Hey, uh, it's almost eight o'clock. You want to do the first giveaway? 
Okay, yeah, it's 10 to 8. How do you want to do this? All right. Uh, whoever puts in the first comment on Hank Strange, you want guns or do you want explosives? So watch your chat and see who puts in guns or explosives first, and we'll pick it that way. Okay, so guns, the person who puts into the chat whether they want guns or explosives, that's what we're... That's, we'll okay, that Razor JB said guns. Guns it is. All right. Okay, we have so. two uh, giveaways from Binary X. So we're going to do the first one right now. Uh, you get a five-pound bag of exploding targets from US. How is this guns? This is, is in the, isn't the Binary X the explosives? Yes. Okay, explosives so Explosives and stakes. Oh, you said guns or explosives. Oh, I'm sorry. It's stakes and explosives. I'm sorry. Stakes, okay. <laughs> My fault. Okay, so, okay, we're getting a lot. I don't know. Chris Bullis says bombs. Okay, there's no. There's, no, we don't. No, either no, no. one of those are options here. Targets. Yeah, it's explosive targets or stakes. So, stakes. explosive. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? Let's talk about the uh, explosives first. So, what's the okay? What's the thing that you have here to give away for the explosives? That's explosives uh, we, related. We have two giveaways from Binary X. Uh, one of them is a five-pound bag, and the second one's a five-pound bag, but it's separate. Okay, so, so you're giving away two separate things. Right. Uh, okay. well, the first one's a five-pound bag of exploding targets kit at 2,200 feet per second. We'll set it up. So it's like, uh, what was it two, two, three or bigger, or five, five, six or bigger? Okay. Uh, that way you can get it. So, everybody, screenshot, Hank. Uh oh. Thumbs, thumbs, thumbs up, everybody. Thumbs All right, you up. have to have at Hank at USA Chemical Supply. Oh wait a minute, it's at Best Binary Deal is Binary X at Best Binary Deal, and at the Tyven Show, the first person on Twitter that puts that up with the screenshot. I okay. will get a hold of you. So at, you. at Hank Strange on Twitter, at The Tyvin Show on Twitter, at um, The Best Binary Deal. That's um, their, yes. their Twitter handle. Okay. Yes, Best Binary so, Deal. First person to text it that we see. The first oh, text inside the there. continental U.S. only. Sorry. Okay, I had to there you go. It. Inside the continental U.S. Yes. These United States of the Americas. <laughs> yes. Also, if you guys want to go and buy additional products from uh, Binary X, which is USA Chemical Supply, you can uh -huh. use promo code Tyvan and get like, I think it's either 10 or 20% off any product that you buy. Best, Pro best, binary, best binary options? Is it best? Uh, Lola says, is it best binary options? Is it the best? Buy. Best, bi best binary. Now you got me confused. Best binary deal, I think it is. Get your get your act so together. Not, 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 now you're gonna get me to get my phone out, man. I gotta. Yeah, you you all. I thought you were ready for this. <laughs> Gorillas and guns says no Twitter. Yes, it's you best binary know? deal. Best binary deal. Yes. So that you there you go. It's at best binary deal, right? Yep. On Twitter. And at the okay. Tyvin Show and at Hank Strange. Yeah. yeah, which is basically U.S. At Best Binary Deal is basically USA Chemical. So the first person yes. to go there, Razor JB says he also has no Twitter. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I have to do it that way. Fresh Fowler says no Twitter. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> uh, um, All right, Lola, got it. Lola can't win it. Yeah, everybody was eligible but me. No, 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 no. We're, we're not. not we're not giving it. We, we, it's still. It's still open. Lola is just doing it to participate. She's trolling me. Yeah, Lola. Lola's not winning it. She's just doing it to participate. So someone else out there that has Twitter, jump on there. Okay. If you don't have Twitter, just go start up a Twitter account right now. Yeah. Nobody said and anything then follow, yet. Follow Hank Strange on Twitter, and then follow. <laughs> you know. Yes. Yeah, someone someone better get this thing. That's all I'm saying. Yes, sir. It's so, still someone open. Better, someone better get this binary. Yep, you get a five pound bag. It's um, you get uh, two packets. You mix them together. You stick them in a container. Yeah. And you shoot it. It's fun. We stuff them in teddy bears. We blow up life size teddy bears and stuff. Okay. It's fun. Well, Ken, uh, what is it? Ken Cornflocker says sheesh. You can have Twitter with a PC. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Chris Bullis says, I have Twitter, but it would take me a year to do all this. Okay, you guys have time. You got we're time. not going anywhere. We're here for another year or so. <laughs> yeah, I got your message, Lola. Okay. Uh, Gorillas and Guns says, we're a bunch of Twitterless people here. Okay, you know uh, what? Let's, uh, let's so, do okay. Yeah, so, so, okay, here we go. So no one's, no one's apparently doing it. Let's make it that, like, Lola won it then. And here's what we'll do. Lola will give it away to someone. So let's see what what should we do to uh, give it away? How how can we how can we have Lola give it away then? Okay. So first person who emails Lola. At twenty. No, no people. Where people. Is closest in the chat. Okay, so Lola says someone pick a number between a one and two. oh wait hold on too late. Chris already did it, but. Uh, okay. So Chris, Chris is Chris the only person here that has Twitter? We're crying out loud! Wait a minute, I'm looking at the picture. Okay, he's got a thumbs up, and it. it's a little discreet, but yeah, yeah, it's Twitter. All right, now you won one, Chris. You can't win any of the other ones now. Yeah, but um, also, you people's butts need to get on Twitter. Come on now. <laughs> yes. Come on. Honestly, Twitter is like the fastest way to just. Uh, yeah. And the reason message. why Tyvin. <laughs> Three, well, it's too late. So, are we giving it to Chris or is it? Lola? Yeah, we'll give it to Chris. We got one more. We got one more. Okay. All right. So there you go. Chris got it because he's the only one who's on Twitter. Yeah. The rest, the rest of you guys need to get up on Twitter. The reason why Tyvin's doing it on Twitter because these companies need to see some interaction. They just can't give yes. away stuff for no reason. They want to see interaction, so they're doing stuff yes. through Twitter. So now people are throwing up numbers. I don't know what to say <laughs> for you guys throwing up numbers. Okay. Here's what I'll do. For for the person who got the closest number to what Lola said, I will give you I will give you this instead. Okay, this is a Brownells sweat pack right here. So Fresh Fowler says the number seven. This is getting really out of control. Eleven okay. was my number. Okay, Fresh Fowler says seven. Gorillas and Guns says nine. Edward Andrews twenty. Uh, Giles Henry Michael Jr. said twelve. Gorillas and Guns said oh wait nineteen. I didn't see what the number. Uh, I didn't hear what the Richard number was. Hughes said eleven. So there you go, Richard Hughes. There you go. You get this. You get the. You, someone's saying sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. <laughs> Vanessa Kitty said two million three hundred fifty-six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> so uh, looks like Richard Hughes. Get in touch with Lola, and you will get. Look, check that out. It's a Brownell sweat pack straight from the eighties. Yes. What? So well, you see, not only that, to... doing it with the Twitter allows us for the interaction and the traffic on the channel. And then these companies that I'm dealing with, they can see what we're doing. And then they can respond, respond to you directly as well. Uh, when Chris B won the, uh, the stakes, um, they said, hey, congratulations right there on Twitter to him. So it's more of a company personal you know, one on one deal. So that's why, yeah. why we do it that way. Yeah, and you guys should just have everyone who's going to go sign up for a Twitter now. Make sure you follow Hank Strange on Twitter and the Tyvin Show on Twitter. Yes. And then Lo what are you on Twitter, Lola? Lola Strange One. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lola Strange One on Twitter. Come on, get with the Twitters. Yes. yes. I mean, I, you know, doing the YouTube and everything. You know, you can go and sign up for all these different social medias mm -hmm. and stuff. I just picked YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. That's it. And I did get the Instagram because a lot of the gun guys are on Instagram, but to go and sign up for all that other stuff and then try to maintain all that stuff and be involved in it's too much. Yeah. By the way, Crispy says that Lola didn't do a picture, so she didn't win that thing. Anymore. I did do a picture. She oh. did do a picture. I say it. Oh, whatever. So now Chris, now Chris and Lola are apparently right. in a battle going back and forth. Right, right. There's the picture. Yeah, Lola, I'm oh, showing Lola. it. Lola right says she did her picture, so I don't know. I see the picture right there. Or see you guys. Yeah, Lola. Picture. Lola officially did her picture. I see it. Yep. Lola said, "Chris, there's her picture." Splacow. How you doing now? Okay, here you go, Lola. Here's your phone. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, let me see. Hold on a second. Uh, Ken Cornflocker says, uh, "Twitter sucks. Too many liberals." So we take over the twitters. We can't yes. let them have any place of refuge. We have to be everywhere they are. We have yep. to outshout them. That's right. It just yeah. the biggest thing is is just participate, you know, yeah. and talk. That Chuck Schumer guy, I can't stand yeah. him. 
but I follow him on Twitter and I just knock everything he says and I use provable evidence to prove him wrong. Yeah. He posted the other day about net neutrality is just as easy as uh, the the highways of America don't pass net neutrality. And I tweeted back, I was like, look, uh, the U.S. highways are the most regulated industry inside the continental U.S. Really? You're comparing net neutrality to the U.S. highways? And the other guy said, well, you can go anywhere you want, but you don't believe all, you don't understand all the taxes you pay. You got road yeah. usage tax, actual tax, tonnage tax, tax on your permits, tax on your licenses, your driver's license, your driver's license taxes, your gas taxes, you know, footage taxes, oversized weight taxes, trolls, tolls, all that stuff. Tire tax, tire tax. Yeah, it's we got, we have to fight them everywhere they are. And the, here's what I'll do to help out folks. Okay, if you go sign up for a Twitter now, I will follow you. While we're doing this chat, if you sign up for Twitter and tell me in the chat what your Twitter handle is, I'll follow you. Flying Rich says, Lola Strange, follow me on Twitter. He's Flying Rich. Guess what, Flying Rich? Boom, I just followed you on Twitter. Followed. So anyone else who go who jumps on the Twitter, let me know what your Twitter handle is. <laughs> your Twitter handle. <laughs> uh, let's see. To you know, so let me know what your Twitter handle is, and I will jump on Twitter and follow you. And you know, let's take over the Twitters, man. Let's use Twitter against Twitter. Let's use every single tool in the toolbox. So uh, Mark Wagner says his is. Um, Mark Wagner says his is garbage. I, th I think I'm following him already. He says his is garbage. Eighty-six uh, one. Let's see. I actually think I've seen that name. Okay. Did I did I spell this wrong? What is his? Um, that's garbage. Garbage. 86.1. It's important oh, to yeah. follow okay, people that you like. And I just, I just followed you, Mark. So you, there you go. There you go. Anyone else who has one and you throw it up in here. Uh, Rob Lethart says he's the real general. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to be doing that. I'm, I should have never said this because now I'm going to be doing this all day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But yeah, you, know, you guys don't follow a lot of the people on Twitter, but you can actually you need to follow at least one of the social medias that people that you like and follow and watch. Yeah. Because you know, Hank will have like a giveaway or a deal or a link to a deal or information that you didn't know about. And you know, YouTube, he does the podcast every night, but you know, at noon he's not live on YouTube, but if you follow him on Twitter, if you see something or gives you an idea of what tonight's podcast is about, you know, you can help by researching and, you know, putting in the comments, Hey, you know, I found this. I was, you know, watch what you did or, you know, thank you for the information. It's important to at least follow with one yeah. or two of the social medias. Absolutely. Sponger car two gaming says mine is Sponger's car two gaming. I just followed you, dude. Yep. Um, Chris Bullis says he's Cruise Man 5150. Cruise Man. Cruise, what is it? Cruise Man. 5150. 5150. There you go. Boom, I just followed you, Chris. <laughs> yeah, you so go. yeah, we can keep we can keep this up. Uh, on the Range says, I think I did On the Range. No, did I not do On the Range? Yeah, that's On the Range. That's uh, John. On the range. Good guy, by the way. On the range. Bam, I just followed on the range. All right. So uh, hold on a second. Ken Cornflucker says his is the uh, the Officer Tatum. Okay, let's go. Let's find that one. He's saying here's an excellent guy to follow. Oh, the, the officer, officer Tatum? Yeah, that's not him. Oh, well, I'll follow it anyway. There you go. Okay. So you can now you guys got direct. You can, go, you can go tell that guy I followed him because you said so. Yep. Uh, let's awesome. see who else. Uh, Giles Henry Michael Jr. says G Michael. Okay, hold on. G H Michael. So go ahead. You go ahead and and uh, <laughs> you take over, Ty because I'm gonna. Oh, be, okay. I'm gonna be doing this for a while. <laughs> oh, you're good. Uh, what was the other thing? 
uh, with the holidays and everybody guys make sure that you uh you know be nice be pleasant it is happy holidays but it is also merry christmas so try to do a kind thing to your neighbor or a friend or just hold the door open it is the t it is the season so you know have a heart uh, there is a lot of rude people in, you know east coast i didn't say that out loud but be nice be patient be courteous out on the road you know if god needs to get on the road you know get over let him on be patient flash your lights you know be courteous it, it's this year i think is going to be a very good year very pleasant stock markets up people are making money people are going out and spending money um right now is a really good time other than it's cold <laughs> little snowy outside in some parts but you know be nice this year treat your neighbor with kindness Absolutely. give your old lady a big kiss or your boyfriend whatever way you may swing I, yeah but show some love yeah okay Giles Michael jr. Uh, I just put in for your thing it says pending so his account is all super secret and uh, yeah so he's got to now like approve me but I put in for it there you go yeah, Stephen so, um, Kimball says it's snowing here. Where, where are you at? Um, Lil Derek D. Mignong said, I kicked my neighbor in the nuts today. Does that count, Ty, <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, you know, at least one person was happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, there you go. Okay. Really it looks like the Twitter, the Twitter thing is going through, but I – I've hit up a whole bunch of people on Twitter. If I missed you, let me know. I will try to do it. Okay, uh, and all you guys that I followed on Twitter better follow me back. And then when you yes. do that, you need to go look for look on our thing for where we, this uh, that we're doing this live hangout is going on, and tweet that on top of that right there. Or go, you know, through me, you could probably find Lola, and uh, you could. You could. Uh, Vanessa Kitty says, "Is your neighbor a squirrel?" <laughs> He's a squirrel. Just looking for a nut. Yeah, kicked him in the nuts. Okay, so we're gonna have another give out giveaway. So the next one's gonna be for the steaks. Okay. So that's the next one coming up. Cruise Man fifty one fifty just followed me back. There you go. Hey, let me re refresh real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. So it looks like uh, Mister Five Bronco says David O'Head. Okay, let me go see. While we're waiting for Tyvin to reload and you know do all the craziness that he's doing uh, oh i know why all right i'm back sorry i just had to refresh it got like really really grainy okay boom i just i, I just followed you so there you go so there you go so the stakes we're going to do in the following hour Okay. Just for anyone who wants to know about that. We are now in the second hour, so it can happen any moment. Yeah, it can happen. You got to hang out with us. Make sure you're clicking thumbs up, guys. We need the thumbs up. Also, all those people on Twitter, you go yes. share this hangout that is going down on Twitter. Okay. Uh -oh. Whoa. Look at that. Uh -oh. oh, no. Pe Peggy it's Killer Keller, Fire, Walter Keller. It's getting hot in her. It's getting fire. hot in her. What's ah. going on? What's going on, Walter? Oh, oh. hey. Uh, oh, I know, I'm getting a reflection off there. Hey, Spence, go get that hat. Oh. Um. <laughs> go get me a hat. <laughs> <laughs> happy anniversary, guys. Oh, thank you. Yeah, happy anniversary. You, yeah. you guys are hanging outside, huh, for the for the anniversary. Around the fire. First, uh, first fire of the season, so to speak. <laughs> Are you roasting uh, chestnuts? On an open fire. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Frost snipping at your nose. Oh, wait a minute. How hot is it down here <laughs> that you actually can have a fire outside? <laughs> my, my, my beautiful assistant will check the temperature, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's What is it, like 60? 65? <laughs> 64. 64. 64. Uh -oh. Walter looks like handsome all cleaned up. Yeah, Lola says you look very handsome all cleaned up, Walter. Yeah, that's what got me in trouble with Seaman. Yeah. Oh boy, he's putting on. He's. This is the hat the Spencer got for you. What up? <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, happy anniversary. How many years? Twenty-eight. Seven. Twenty-seven. Get it right. Hey, he was just being positive. Yeah, he's Twenty-seven but it already. Seems, it seems like a million. <laughs> no. No. Well, congratulations, you both. Happy anniversary. 
Yes. Oh, so many, many, many more. Let's hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope so. Yeah. So, so what's up? It's just you and Tyvin right at the moment here? Yep, it's just me and Tyvin. Uh, Babyface is supposed to be coming on sometime. <laughs> Who knows when? <laughs> and uh, Sam may be jumping in. I don't know when he's jumping in, if he's jumping in. Lola's going to have to check on that and see if, we, if we're still getting uh, Sam jumping in here. Sam was getting a bite to eat 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Sam is so, in. Yeah. Wow. The other guys? Has he ever been on before? Who Sam? Yeah, Sam from um, Sam from Forge from Freedom. Yes, he oh, has been I, on. I, I, I thought you meant Sam of uh, of um, Andrew Custom. Andrew leather. Andrew's Custom Leather. Yeah. Oh no, Sam from Andrew's Custom Leather. We're trying to get Sam to come on and do a chat with us, but Sam is very, very, very extremely computer and technology illiterate. Oh. So, so that means you're gonna have to go up there and be in the other room when he's doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up there. Or <laughs> Put him in the back office. That way, Lola can run back and forth if he's got a problem. Yeah, uh, Walter, change your phone. Make your phone go like this. Sideways. And we'll see you. There we go. There we go. There Look at that, Look at that handsomeness. There you go. That's just pure awesome sauce. Yeah. Is that, is that cleavage, Walter? Showing. But yeah, Lola says, "Are you showing cleavage? Are you in your robe?" Oh, just uh, he's got a V neck on. Normally there is cleavage. No, it's me. It's me. He's talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh boy. Ooh, shave them hair. Yeah, are you like in a? <laughs> is this a Playboy style robe or something you're wearing? Hey, in secret, Walter was Hughes Hefner's third cousin. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sam from Forge from Freedom just jumped into the chat. <laughs> hey. Hey, Sam, we were just talking about you. You were? <laughs> yeah. Yes, because we've got Walter. It's his anniversary, and he's joining us from a remote secret location. Hey, happy anniversary, Walter. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Like my how, how many years? 27. Hey, good for you, man. Good for you. Yeah, and he's got the smoking jacket. So, yeah, so hey, what do you guys? Any marshmallows going on out there, or are you just sitting by the campfire drinking a beer? Uh, haven't got the beer yet. Uh, had some margaritas at, at where we were eating dinner at, but that's it. So. Oh, okay. Now I okay. heard that you guys have an anniversary tradition where you strip down naked, dance around the fire, and then run off into the woods. Is that true? <laughs> I can <just> hear him this. <laughs> yeah, I got a trim. Oh. <laughs> Every man, so oh. <laughs> we don't want uh, okay more, more, more info than they needed, right? Just... Yeah, <laughs> too, too much information. Yeah, exactly. Um, yes. Richard Hughes says, I asked them what they were looking for, they did not know, they were just told to look. What is he? I'm not sure. He went to Costco and they. Made him open up his backpack to check the fridge. Oh, oh, he's saying that he went to Costco and they made him open his backpack. In a Costco? I wanted to see if he was stealing something. Oh, which Costco is this? Costco doing security checks now somewhere. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, we've got a whole bunch Wait of. Wait a minute, are you in a robe? <laughs> I keep telling you, Walter looks like he's in some kind of robe or something. Now we're seeing him. Who's that we're seeing walking Palm around? Beach. Oh. That's Spencer walking around. Yeah. In Palm Beach. I, yeah. So Man, how, Walter's working it hard tonight. Yeah, I'm not really sure how romantic this could be when the kids are around. <laughs> yeah. You know, what you have to do is uh like send Spencer off to the movies or something. And like have a sock or something that you tie around the front door and you're like, if you see this sock on the door. Go back to the movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't come in. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to be emotionally scarred. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Walter, do the two-step, dude. Let's see what you got. No, well, why is he show why is he showing us Spencer? Walter's the one that's putting the, the Oh, he's stoking the fire. Okay, oh, let's see. I thought that was Walter standing there. I couldn't tell. No, the let's light see. in the background. Yeah, yeah, I can see the moon. Let's see the fire, Peggy. What? Let's see the fire. Am I not seeing the show in the fire? No. Where no. Back to life here. Oh, okay. I can't see what I'm showing. Hold on a minute. Okay, point down. There you go. Okay, there's oh, there a go. fire. Look at that. That's a legitimate live fire 
going on out going on out there. <laughs> that, yeah, that we know who awesome. the fire bug is now. That is that is awesome. Yeah. Walter, he is much, very much a fire bug. Yeah. I like a nice fire. Yes. It's very is soothing. That, I, I, I can't see. Is that in like a fire pit or is is it just a steel pit? rim off of a semi down there? That oh, is yeah. a of a... That's off a five ton military truck. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. I want one of those. They make the best mo uh, uh, fire rings. If you get yeah. like a semi steel rim or a big five ton rim, you don't have to worry about the rocks and all that other stuff. It, and it's got the holes cut in the bottom of the rim so it yeah. feeds itself. It, they're perfect. It breathes really good. When the fire's done, there's nothing but ash left. Nothing. nothing. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Next time you come across one of those, Walter, you got to uh, let me know. All right. I will. Okay. All right. I don't want to keep you guys on. I know yeah. it's your anniversary. We appreciate you checking in with us. Yeah. You know? Um, Oh, I yeah, make sure you make sure you get all I could say is make sure you get one for the Gipper. Yeah, <laughs> get one for the Gipper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, all right. Are you is? There we go. Yeah, we have like the fire. You got to talk to the fire there. You know that's that's. Uh... There you go. Oh. And Spencer is right in front of the fire to make sure we see him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Spencer. Yeah. Very cool. There you go. Right. Congratulations, Walter, Mrs. Keller. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Happy anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. If you made it to twenty seven years, you're good. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right. So, Sam, what's up, uh, uh, Walter? Are you leaving or are you staying? I can, can I can stay. It's no problem. Oh, okay, cool. So, Sam, what's going on, man? How's your uh, Thanksgiving? How was your yeah, Thanksgiving? Man. Yeah, man, it was good. You know, lots of turkey and lots of wine and all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, yeah, it, it was good. You know, family at home, the usual stuff. Yeah, all the prerequisites. Did you do any Black Friday shopping? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. No. Well, actually, no, I tell a lie. I did buy myself one thing. Uh, my uh, network provider, Verizon, were doing a good deal on uh, iPad Pros. Oh, nice! And I got myself a, uh, I got myself a new iPad Pro. But that's about it. Cool. You know, what size? Uh, ten point five. Uh, I think the the bigger one is a little bit too big. Okay. So yeah, ten point five. Is that your first iPad? It's not my first iPad. It's my first iPad Pro, though. Um, okay. I a friend came by a couple of days ago, and he was showing me his. I'm like. Dang, I really, I really don't need one of those, but I really want one of those. You know? Oh, they're amazing, man. They're amazing. I have the bigger, what is it, like 12 something? Right. Inch one? Yeah, yeah. That's what my friend has. Yeah. 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 yeah that, that thing, that thing is massive. It's like, it's like holding a TV screen. Yeah. When Walter and I were flying to SEMA, I was uh, listening to it with my earbuds on, but I put on the uh, closed captions. Right. And yeah. Walter was actually reading the closed captions from, yeah. I mean, he was squeezed into a seat next to me, which he wasn't very happy about. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't very happy. Like, you don't put, like, three big dudes all in the same aisle. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, that doesn't lead to happiness. But that's cool, man. So congratulations on that. Did uh, Forge yeah. from Freedom have any Black Friday stuff going on? Yeah, actually, uh, if you go to our homepage, you can see it there. Uh, we have a site-wide 20% uh, off. And the way, we, the way I like to do things is, I mean, I appreciate a lot of places do like Black Friday for three days or even a week or whatever. But I like to do Black Friday just for Black Friday. So, yeah. so you know, midnight, it started midnight on the, on the dot yesterday, and it's ending midnight tonight. Very cool. Very cool. You know. So, uh, what was it? How many? What percentage off? Uh, Twenty percent off site wide. Uh, uh, code uh, triple F seventeen. Okay. So, so go to Forge from Freedom. That's who makes our t shirts. I'm looking around for where I, I had a t shirt here, but I don't know. I don't know where it is. Um, Lola moved it, but I'll, I'll I'll throw one up in a second. I think Lola's going to grab one. But um, you you make T-shirts for lots of folks. You want to tell people out there all the different YouTube uh, personalities, yeah, personalities uh, and sensations that yeah, uh, use for yeah, freedom. Yeah, we've been. We've been I mean, right there. we've been. This is the one you buy, people. Right here, this one. 
<laughs> yeah, we've been uh, we've been doing good. We uh, we recruited. Well, I say, I don't like to use that word, but we've we've been joined by um, uh, obviously Tim, you, Mister Guns and Gear, Yankee Marshall, VSO Gun Channels. Uh, we have a couple of big ones coming up that I can't talk about right now, but one I can talk about is uh, Such. Such zero zero. He's uh, cool. He's yeah. uh, He's uh, he's gonna be going live. I'm hoping tonight we're gonna be have his store live. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I signed yeah. up for an account, but I had problems trying to get in and do the T-shirts. But I have an account signed up. So I'll, I will also be going through you guys and switching my stuff over to you guys. Right, yeah. Uh, you probably sound, signed up for our affiliate dashboard, maybe? Yes. Right, okay, yeah. Well, you gotta, what you got to do is send an email and put it to the attention of Sam. To Sam, us. okay. Yeah, so I can pick it up because we get hundreds of emails every day. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and I'll, I'll pick it up and I'll take care of you. Yeah, Thanks, just sir. say hashtag Hank Strange Nation. <laughs> yes I'll, I'll get in touch with you but thank you sir yeah, yeah yeah no problem um and one thing i do want to mention um it's uh it's kind of a plug but not really um uh we uh we launched our youtube channel today okay and uh the main reason we did it is because we we found that youtube wants us to be a um uh a partner i guess right i don't know a lot about youtube um, and, uh, for us to basically be able to, uh, get other people to be able to link to our website from inside their videos. Does that make sense? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yes. Right. So if you want to annotate to inside the video, to, to an outside source, they got to be a YouTube partner. They got to be verified, all that kind of stuff. So, um, we need to get to 10,000 views, um, on, you know, collectively, uh, so if you, you know, if you're, you're here and you can subscribe and maybe, maybe just, you know, view the one video that we put up today, I'd really appreciate it. Absolutely. I just went there and just subscribed on YouTube. So, um, go to YouTube and then in the, the, uh, main search, just put in forged from freedom and then subscribe. There's one video there. I've got it playing in the background, play it a couple of times. Let's help them get up to 10,000. Yay! And it's not for monetization or anything like that. You guys are just being able, just trying to be able to reach out to a wider audience and, and to help those of us that are doing things with you on YouTube, be able to make a fill like links to you. Right. Right, that's yeah. exactly what it is. I'll, um, I'll put your link in on all my stuff too. We're live on my channel as well, so if right. you guys see the Sam Forge for free, to make sure you go check them out in their video. Um, after the after we're done, I'll go and put all your stuff on mine and help yeah. you out. Not and by the way, Military Arms Channel is in the chat, and he says not after yeah. that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so for anyway. You know, here's here's a funny fact. Here's here's uh -huh. a funny fact for you. Uh, I don't know if, if Tim is watching right now, but he is. Tim, He's watching. Tim, I have spoken to Tim like every day for the last what two two and a half months, whatever it is. This is the first time that he's actually seen my face. Oh really? Oh right. Um, <laughs> he's probably right now passing out. <laughs> I don't he, know. He, I have he thinks to he has the most audacious beard. Somebody yes. has a more bodacious beard than you, Mac. Fear, fear the beard, yes. Mac. Fear the beard. Fear be the jealous. beard. Be jealous. Mac. I'm trying. I'm still in that little stubby growth section. Mine gets out about three inches, man, and it's just, I, I can't do it, man. Yeah, Mac says that's the truth. By the way, this is the first time he's seen your face. He said, Mac says, I have beard envy. So, there you go. That's pretty serious for him to say it. He's a good guy, and uh, and I think you guys got linked up you know um very recently hey but, I, got, uh, I gotta sorry to interrupt you but i gotta say this okay so i was just talking to my wife about this about maybe uh 15 minutes ago okay. and i honest hand hand on heart honest to god i was saying the man responsible for putting me through to mac is hank strange right and i was just telling her <laughs> i was just telling her how grateful i am for you doing that no, I think you would do. I think you were doing it yourself. I think you guys were trying to reach out to each other. Maybe I like you know help the connection to completely connect. But I'm happy to do that. You're yeah. both good guys, and I'm yeah. glad to see you guys are doing stuff. And keep making T-shirts showing Mac without a beard. One that was my favorite one. 
<laughs> yes. Then, uh, then apparently recently, I don't know if everyone knows this out there, but Mac got married to 22 Plankster. Did that one? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> They're apparently in a very committed I, relationship. I, I don't think they uh, swing that way. <laughs> well, if you look at the T-shirt that I'm talking about, hey man, don't, oh. don't disparage them. Just be supportive. <laughs> no, oh, okay. I, I'm being supportive. I'm being supportive. Hey, hey you know, it, took, it took about a freaking month, but we finally got got Tim to agree to actually release that shirt, and we actually just released <laughs> it. Like we actually just released it like an hour ago. Yeah, right? I will, listen. <laughs> nobody more than me wants to see what the love the love child of Military <laughs> Arms Channel at Twenty Two Plinkster looks. Oh, like. I'm talking. No, I'm talking about the. Um, oh. I'm talking about the other one where it says, uh, uh, "Who needs a girlfriend if you've got an AK?" <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, yeah, you know that one. Yes, that's the one where Mac was. That was Mac before he had his sex change to become a guy. <laughs> That's when right. he was a girl. Wow. <laughs> I'm you just know, it. I'm just listen. Mac's favorite joke to me is he says, "Hank, do you know what we call a man who doesn't have a beard?" And I was like, "No, I, I don't know what you call a man who doesn't have a beard." He's like, "A woman, a woman." <laughs> yeah. So you know, he's always take yes. now. He's not actually on here on air with us to defend himself. So this is the perfect time to go after him right <laughs> roll now. In, because then, roll in, roll in, roll in. This is, this roll is the in. only time that you yeah. can do it, Hank. And here, I'm going to put out a challenge. I think, I don't know if that's no. going to SHOT Show, but I, I bet you he's going to like the NRA show. At NRA, we should all get these t-shirts of uh, the AK <laughs> shirt of Mac, and we should all wear those shirts <laughs> at the NRA show. There you go. <laughs> Everyone should have one of those on. <laughs> the baby face being quiet, man. He's like, I'm not even going to mess with uh, yeah, that. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm innocent. I promise Mac you, if you have one of those shirts, Mac will sign it. <laughs> he needs to come here and defend, defend himself. He needs to defend his legacy. No, I'm just teasing him. I'm just teasing him. So, okay. So the big thing you wanted everyone to do was go to Forge from Freedom, right, on YouTube. Yeah, guys. And check please. out the video. Absolutely. Yeah. Help us get those first 10,000 views. Um, right. You know what I mean? If you don't want to subscribe, that's cool. You know, but at least click on that video and just play it for a couple of seconds. Yeah. yeah. It, it looks like you have 1600 right now. I'm trying to see, let me, I'm going to share it right now. Right. Yeah. Um, see, it, see it in chat real quick so we can all click on it. Oh, or, okay. Hold or on. I will if I find it first. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I'll put, I'll put the, I'll put the specific video in the chat right now. So yeah, you guys so can everybody see it. Click through. Yeah. Yeah, put, put it in yeah. chat. That way I can show that on my stream. There we go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yankee, Yankee Marshall was uh, kind enough it. to uh, do a video today. Um, I mean, I only asked him to share it, but he he went, that guy, he's, he's great. He went over, you know, uh, above and beyond and made a video, and it got us like a ton of ton of subscribers and a ton of views. Yeah, there you go. you're at 480 subscribers, and you've got 1,623 views and 519 thumbs up. I, I can't I can't tell you how humbled I am. I just can't awesome. tell you how humbled I am. There you go. I'll put awesome vid right there in your comments for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, make sure you share it and uh, and all that kind of good stuff. Watch it a couple of times. You know, uh, right. I'll go over my chat. I'll put and it all in that. my chat for everybody to go over and uh, hit it up. There you go, yeah. guys. We should. Mac just liked it against his better judgment. <laughs> Max says he just liked it against his better judgment. <laughs> you know it's awesome. I'm going to play it again for like the third time. This this is, by the way, for people who are watching this later on or if you're listening, this is the shirt that celebrates the love of Mac, Military Arms Channel, and 22 Plinkster. And this is available, right? Unfortunately, no, Freedom. No, we're, we're – um, no. Come on, we're, make it available. Man, there's uh there's there's a few technicalities we gotta get past first. I'm gonna say that much, okay? <laughs> oh, a few technicalities. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what what's what's the technicality? Neither one of these dudes. I'll, these I'll, I'll, out there. I'll, I'll probably tell you in private. <laughs> <laughs> Max says, nope, <Yeah>. never. <laughs> <laughs> it's too. It's on the internet, man. You might as well let the rest of us enjoy this. Sam, Sam. Hey. We're watching that uh that on your YouTube channel, the video of the uh of the printer printer. Right. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat, actually, yeah. 
Everyone has to look at the shirt that gets printed. <laughs> there you go. You have to see this. I am not going to show you guys. You guys have to go and look at this video and see the shirt that's getting printed. Then you need to go to 22 Plinksters, all his social media, go to Military Arms, Bomb channel, it. all his social media, and say, please make the T-shirt. Free the T-shirt. Free the T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag the T-shirt the must live. <laughs> <laughs> as good as well. I'm gonna say this yeah, until so I hope Lola, you better never ever give these people any kind of horrible pictures of me. That's my job to put on teach. <laughs> oh, you neither. Baby, that's my job. <laughs> you bastard. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm hey, just real quick, just here today is Walter Keller's anniversary. So please put it in the comments, everybody. Happy anniversary and to you're, him. You're spending and spending it with us. Keller. What is what is going on, guys? Yeah. What's up, baby face? What's up? What were you asking? You asking Walter something? Uh, just they're spending their their anniversary with us. Yes. What were they thinking? I don't know. I've been here. I've been home all day today, being good. So. <laughs> yeah, Walter's being good, so he's he's allowed a little bit of us time. He's <laughs> he's, he's allowed behaving. to hang out with the savages. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Because he was good. Um, have you given up massages? Did you cook Walter for this anniversary? I'm sure you did. I made uh, I made an awesome brunch this morning. Oh, what did you make? What was what was for brunch? Well, I made some uh, fried potatoes, bacon, and some um, scrap. Okay. By the way, uh, everyone is putting hashtag the t-shirt must live. <laughs> hey, let me do it. Oh, I, I forgot my hashtag. Hold on. Everyone put hashtag the t-shirt must live in the chat. Someone just tweeted it out. Yeah. <laughs> and tweet it. Make sure you tag Military Arms Channel and 22 Plinkster. Hashtag the t-shirt must live. <laughs> they have to make this shirt, you know. Um, let's just go. like, you know, we can get, they can give to a charity or something like that. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Well, we, uh, the one that we just did with the, um, the AK girlfriend thing, um, uh, Mac is actually donating the um, his his part of the proceeds for to Hero Hunt. Oh, cool! Hero Hunt. All right, nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The information is actually on the page, so yeah, I've included that. Okay. Well, that's good to know because I know Mac was uh, donating money that he was getting previously from NRA, but everything that went down, he stopped doing that. So that's good to know that there's another way to get some money to go to Hero Hunt. So yeah, and Hero Hunt are great. You know, it's a good cause. So uh, I'm, I'm very we have a lot of gra we have a lot of static on. on I was here. wondering if that was just me. Whew. Yeah. Was that the beard? Was that the beard, Sam? <laughs> it, it might have been the beard. It's got a, it's got a it's got a mind of its own. Wiggle your headset up there yeah, a little unplug bit. Yeah, unplug and replug. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. We're getting lots of hashtags. The shirt must live going up there. So. When you guys, matter of fact, I'm going to go to this video. I'm going to go to this video and put te put hashtag the shirt must live. Is that, is that any better, by the way? Yeah, he's not, yeah. he's not better. You know what it is? I think it's my, when I plug in my laptop. Oh, so it. much better. Oh, that's that's weird. Uh, it's actually, it's, yeah, I mean, I know what it is. It's uh, It happens with my with my guitar amplifiers here. When I, uh, oh, okay. whoa, that uh, any, any uh, if there's like, if I've got any LEDs on or anything, Plugged in, they um, it causes like static and stuff. That is a hell of a question hey, you have. I, ha I have a special request because it's uh, Walter's anniversary with his lovely wife, and you just happen to be a musician. Oh, Would you God, play no. a little oh. something for Walter? Oh God, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I am not going to serenade Walter and his wife. <laughs> yeah, that's just. Come on, don't twinkle, make it twinkle, weird. Twinkle, little star. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't make it any weird more weird than it is already. <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. Walter will never be allowed to hang out with us ever again. Right, right. You know, <laughs> after this. So, um, I want to encourage everyone out there to click the thumbs ups and share this video and all that kind of good stuff. If you're watching the video now, a little Easter egg, a little treat of what you can do is go over to Forged from Freedom on YouTube. There's a video there. Watch that video multiple times. Share it. Put hashtag the t-shirt must live on that video because you, you, I, I don't even want to explain it to you. You have to go there and see this video. It's a must watch many, many times over video.
Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. real quick, Sam, I wanted to tell you, you'd said something about uh, getting your channel all the way up and do the verified. YouTube is getting ready to go through and blacklist a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Patreon, Streamlabs, there's like five or six other like money making things that right. YouTube's not getting a cut of. They're getting ready to go in and blacklist all that stuff out of the really? descriptions. So you're not wow. going to be able to click on the link. Uh, work if you've got an NCN, work with them and then uh, try to get it whitelisted. Right. That yeah, way yeah. it's allowed. Um, they're getting yeah. ready to do a bunch of more changes with YouTube because they're not getting their cut. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. And that's very good information. Um, so thank you for that. Yes. I think if once, you got it, once we hit like, go ahead, I'm sorry. I think once we hit like 10,000 views, we are probably going to get like, like a account manager or something you know uh I'm call me sure. i'll do everything for you for free oh just thanks. get a hold of it get a hold of hank he can get you my contact information cool any questions you need i'm your man free thank charge you, man. no issues thank you so much thank you appreciate it not a problem so uh um, here's uh, hank here's um here's a stupid thing that i did earlier you want to see a stupid thing i did sure so, <laughs> i mean is this safe <laughs> <laughs> well it is safe yeah but Okay. It's, just, it's it's a pain in the ass for me, but you'll probably find it funny. I um I forgot to turn off YouTube notifications, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what's happened. This is what's oh. happened. <laughs> to my email throughout your inbox. Yeah, you got four hundred and eighty five <laughs> emails in the last three hours. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's yeah. nice. That's awesome. I'm like, no. <laughs> Yeah. I did that and I left my phone unplugged and I was getting so many messages that it actually drained my battery on my phone. I couldn't right. use it. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. very yeah. cool. That's very cool. So let's uh let's switch over to Babyface here who's just got, he's joining us from Tampa. This is not his are you switching to me. You put me on the spot. Yes, you're here. You're here. <laughs> so tell us you you got a like a should we call it a Christmas present? Should we call a blessing from the gods? He's got a thunder? Rolex on that wrist. Is that oh, a Rolex? No, no, this isn't no. is a Rolex. It's a, it's a tag, tag Heuer. It's a tag. <laughs> oh, okay. Still nice. Okay. Still very nice. Oh, Tag Heuer. I love Tag Heuer. Wait a second. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a uh -oh. good watch. Walter's so, throwing up his. Now everyone's yeah, throwing up their the tags. Tag yeah, everyone. Th so throw got throw the, up um, yours, Walter. That that's my cheap one. Cheap okay, one. there you go. There you go. Yeah, very nice. Go ahead, throw up yours, baby face. You see, this this is my cheap tag. Yeah, it was a parts watch that I put back yeah. together. Yeah, there you go. I, I feel bad. I have like all I have is my Oceanus. There's, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's all I have. I stopped wearing jewelry a long time ago. No wrist, no ring. When I got out of the army, I put everything away. I took my dog dog tags off, hung everything, and I just. It's annoying now. I don't even carry change in my pocket anymore. So basically, you got out of the army and became a hippie. Without the hair. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead, babyface. You're telling us you, you've got something very nice. I was over there. Yeah, I, it out. you saw the pictures. You can throw it up on Facebook or something. I didn't actually take any after we finished. You did um, it? No, I forgot to. I was too busy trying to pack up and head back. Oh, but, uh, okay. We got, the, we got the milling machine all set up in the garage. Yeah, I don't and, know if this now, really comes across. Let me see if, if that's coming across. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah. If that's uh, here, let me see if I can lock it on me for a second. So this <laughs> milling machine came from Safety Harbor Firearms. There you go. Nice oh. milling machine. Yep. So we got it all completely it's set all up. set up. We just need to find a project to work on. We yeah. need a, an 80% lower or a, an 80% uh, 1911 or something like that to work on. Well... Hank, Hank, you want him to finish your eighty uh, percent nine millimeter lower? Oh, he just did it. Uh, no, I want you to do it. Walter okay. needs to do it. <laughs> yeah, I want you to do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want mine to be the first one that Babyface works on. No. <laughs> you trust me that much? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> uh, I love you, and I trust you to a certain extent. <laughs> but, but I would rather have Walter do my. But but also Walter's gonna be able to um, with his CNC machine he could put in like a logo, he could put in a, a, a cool logo for me or something. Yeah. So there you go. I'm not I'm not trying to say that you know your skills are that bad, babyface. I do trust your skills. 
Um, you just don't want the first one that, that I put together. Yeah. Maybe Walter will volunteer his lower. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's a. I see a handgun right over your shoulder that I put together oh, for you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yes, he was showing us that earlier. So I guess we shouldn't show. So there we go. Yeah, you know, there's the brown else. There's the brown else. Yeah, brown else. It's almost done. It's almost done. We're still working on it. We got a couple things left that we have to do to finish that one off. So, no, we we'll see, do some. Yeah. We'll do some projects. Yeah. No, I'm gonna. I, I want to pick up a um, an eighty percent 1911 kit and put it all together. Um, yeah. Make that like the christening project. Plus, yeah. I'm probably going to take it down and try to clean it a little bit, Walter. It's covered in grease. Oh, it's, it's dusty and dirty, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. 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 So, but, you know, in the future, when so, Babyface becomes, like, the next Jesse James, and he's selling his guns for, like, a kajillion, fulfillion dollars. That's right. I hope we all get royalties. <laughs> Everybody gets a custom 1911 with your face engraved on the side. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> your logo. <laughs> I want the money. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you start selling when you start selling a 1911 for a hundred thousand dollars, I want a piece of that. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a hell of an investment you're putting in here, Hank, because this could take quite a few years to get to. <laughs> and uh when you when you have like your own booth at SHOT Show, just get uh, this is a tip. This is a this is a big tip right here. You get little yellow post-it notes and you put on there. Don't fucking touch this. <laughs> There's going to be a sign <laughs> with Hank's face on it, and it's going to be like, this person not welcome. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just, I mean, that's what, that's is that, what Jesse is that, a, is that a Jesse James reference? Yeah. 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 That's what okay. Jesse James does. A show. He has a booth. With his shoes and suppressors. Everyone could come to the booth. Or was that shot show or NRA? I can't remember. I think. Was, was that shot? Was I shot. think. Well, I know one of the shows he was doing that show. That, does he does he have his garbage suppressors there? I don't know. He's got all his stuff says "fuck you, don't touch this." <laughs> yeah, you saw the the whole suppressor debacle that he had like a year ago, right? No. Yeah. Oh, he put out a he put out a suppressor that couldn't couldn't hold its own weight, and right. they were making up numbers like, "Oh, it's only it's only seventy five dB," and it's like the action noise is louder than that. You're making yeah. shit up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there you go. There you go. Uh, we can all do it. We can all do it. Um, so let's see. Uh, someone wants to know what a machine like that goes for nowadays. Yes, I was going to ask you about that. We were talking about that earlier. Ask Walter. I don't actually know. A drill, a drill mill like that probably is six in the order of um, uh, ten just say a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> about twelve hundred bucks. Oh, okay. Twelve hundred. That's it. I thought that was about four to five thousand dollars piece of equipment with all the attachments and everything. Well, if you get it with a, a digital readout and stuff, it, you can push it up to that much. But the okay. basic the, the basic drill mills are probably twelve fifteen hundred bucks, depending on. I think, what. I think that's the first thing I'm going to do is try to find a digital readout that I can hook up to it. Yeah. If anyone thinks that we are just like making up shit about, I don't know if you guys could even see this, but. Here's this, um, here's a post, I'm trying to figure out that where there's no lights. Uh, okay, so anyway, see it says do not touch. There you go. It says do not touch, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is at, this is at SHOT Show or something like that. Wow. So it's a gun, there's a post-it note there, and that's what the post-it note says. So, <laughs> yeah. That's marketing 101, bitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how you do it. Hey, I wanted. I wanted to ask Sam. Let everyone quick. come in the booth, and then you go. Do not touch it. Like, get some glass. <laughs> yeah. At least exactly. go the glass, glass is very cheap. Yeah. So. so I wanted to ask I've, Sam um, if somebody's new and wants to get into the t-shirt market. Uh, besides just going into your website and signing up, what all? What all is in uh, in detail that we need to do? Um. So, what do you mean, like? Um, like if you getting uh, pictures, pictures, profiles, getting it up, setting it up, getting you know, the the orders and all that stuff. What you mean on our website or to do your own yeah. website? No, yours. Uh, I want to oh, come to uh, your website, get signed up, and sell T-shirts through your right. website. What yeah, all we, do we need to do? We we don't have a self service uh, sign up, but we right. we do it for you like really quickly. Um, like if you've got you know if you've got all your designs ready or if you've chosen what you want to. What you want to put on there? We can do right. it. In like a, we can do it in like a day. Okay. If so, I 
if I if I send you some of my existing T-shirts, and uh-huh. um, we want to kind of make the same thing just a little different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's good to do, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, probably the easiest thing to do. All right, and I got I got a couple ideas for some other shirts, but I'm sure. not going to say it. In the- can't yeah, you can't say it. Somebody's a steal it. Yeah. yeah uh, Walt, Walter, get my number from uh, from Hank, and also he's got my email. I mean, actually, my email is pretty easy. It's forgefromfreedom at gmail. So, um, uh, you know, send me an email there, and I can uh, I can do a call with you, and we can uh, we can get you all set up. All right. Yeah. And I got a question for you about the site. We're gonna order one. The one that the one with the Christmas trees and the gun. Oh uh, yeah, the uh, gun, the Christmas tree made out of guns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the military green. What color is the actual uh, the tree? Have Sorry, you, you broke up there. I, I, I think he said the military green. What color is the actual tree in there? Oh, uh, uh, hold on, let, hold on. Let me check. Uh, on the website. That's why I was asking. You didn't find it on the website. Um, that's one of our <laughs> older designs and. Um, probably that's why it's maybe not there, but we can we can do it any color you want. Uh, we can do it in red or white or whatever. I think I think red on military green doesn't work real good. Um, uh, white works a lot better. Probably white would be better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the uh, Chris B says we need a Burl T-shirt. <laughs> so I think. <laughs> That's for Kevin Dixie, if you remember, Sam. You know, Kevin Dixie says right, Burl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, rem- I remember. I remember. Yeah. Uh, and what we need to do there, though, is that's Kevin Dixie's thing. So we're absolutely we're, we're happy to help him, but I want to make sure that he, you know, benefits from that and has <laughs> some sure. kind of input. <laughs> His input yeah, all the copyright. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think he's starting to. Uh, I think he's starting to accept it. So Take we, it, run with it like a man. Get some cash. <laughs> Run with your burl in your hand. Yeah. Burl. So, yeah. Um, yes, it looks sir. like Babyface is having a good conversation with someone about that milling machine. There's always someone out in the gun community that's used these things. Chris, Chris well, B and I are chatting yes. about it. A lot yeah. of people stuff like that, like just like Babyface is, and then they go under that to a bridge port to maybe a CNC oh. machine. <laughs> Walter, I was actually on the on the ride home. I had a a video that I was listening to of a guy that was reassembling a bridge port. Straight oh. up, it's like the most interesting thing ever. Those things are so cool. Yes. Yeah, so I, I'm not, you know, if, if, if a good deal on a small bridge port came along, I'd, I'd have it in the shop just just for sec- oh, secondary operations sometimes. They're awesome. Yeah. yeah. So what's the next piece of machinery you need, babyface? Yeah, so I need to find a lathe. Next thing I need to get is a good lathe. A good lathe. I just sold one. You did? Print, uh, Christmas tree in white. Oh, okay. How much? Yeah. What kind of lathe did you have? Uh, 1873. It was my great grandfather's. <laughs> oh, wow. Was it big leather belt? belt driven. Belt driven, horse hide belt. Wow. Driven up right. through the rafters and down the trolley. It was one of those deals. It was converted over to an electric motor. Yeah. My uncle's got it now. Big leather belts, yeah. Awesome. That yep. sounds amazing. Now, you can go get those little ones depending on um, how big of a project you want. But like those 80% lowers, you can get uh, the three and a half foot by one and a half that, that does small, intricate little parts and stuff. Those are reasonably priced pretty good. Yeah, it, yeah those aren't too bad. I would, if I was if I was babyface, I'd look for something like the one I have, which is like a, a 14 by 30. Yeah. Yes. Because a 14 by 30, you can fit an inch and a half chunk of barrel down through the center that's yeah probably, that's probably what i'm going to look for at some point yeah a, pr- a problem with a lot of the smaller ones they don't have any um any size through the spindle so, yep you know if you try to do a barrel that that's any kind of size you're sol so you know. especially if you want to thread your own barrels or cut them yeah. and then grind them down and then re-thread the ends or if you got a bad barrel with a threader strip you need to cut a half inch off and then come up and rethread it. You got to have one that does at least a half inch three. Was five eighths, Walter? Five eighths or less? Oh, what I mean through the it's, through the center. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything less. If it's if it's not at least an inch and a quarter, I wouldn't touch it. So. Okay. Just mm-hmm. because and always have something bigger than 
something's always going to pop up that needs a big hope. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh <-huh. laughs> Everybody oh, chuckled on that, that one. Tank back into the conversation. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm looking at this video again. I'm trying to screen. <laughs> and then he starts chuckling. At I'm screen capturing. Have a I'm big screen, hole. Yeah. I'm screen capturing. <laughs> when you when you guys said that, I was just looking at the video with Mac at 22 Flankster, <laughs> wow. and those two worlds just collided. Like, boom. oh god. Every now and then, you come across something that has to have a big hole. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, let me screen capture. I'm screen capturing that. My my evilness is not done. Yeah. He's going to put the word big and then have the word whole and then the O and the whole. He's going to have hair around it. <laughs> <laughs> that time and said that one, not me. That's nasty. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Warsaw Patriot is in here. Okay. Um, he's Warsaw Patriot, for anyone who doesn't know, is a huge, huge Glock fan. Oh. Uh, the only gun for a Warsaw Patriot in this world is the Glock. You know, hey, Gaston hey. Glock is his favorite dude in the world. Oh, yes, sir. Hank, it's uh, eight, nine till. You want to do the steak giveaway? Oh, okay, okay. So we're gonna do. Okay, so everyone, let's get people ready. Let's get folks ready right. for this. Okay, All right. because Tyvin in a second here, a couple of seconds. Tyvin's gonna give away. Um, you know, he's gonna give away some steaks from Omaha Steaks. Before he does that, I just yes. want to remind you guys one more time. Forge from Freedom. That's where this shirt comes from. It says, see, I'm pro-choice and it has all these guns. This particular one is like a special one because we actually have our logo printed inside of that one. But, you know, thanks for Sam for jumping on here from Forge from Freedom. So you guys make sure you check that out. Go to YouTube um, and search Forge from Freedom and go find their YouTube channel, subscribe and like the video that's there, share it over and over again. And um, okay, are you ready, Tyvin? Yes, sir. Okay, right, so what do we need to do for this? All right, so on my channel, you guys right now, you can see the filet mignons right there. You're going to win two of the, uh, they say four ounce, but I'm going to up it to five ounce, give you a little extra, you know, filet mignon, something special, something really good. So what everybody's got to do real quick is everybody gives a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Come on, guys. Thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. You have to screen capture this so, real quick. Yeah, take a screen capture of this right now. Yes, sir. Now, everybody is eligible but me. Everybody's okay. eligible. So Except the first for Chris, person. you already won, sir. So sorry. Yeah, so All there right. you go. So the first Cody. person to the first, do the thumbs up again. Do the thumbs up again. Hold on. Everybody do the thumbs, thumbs up, up again. Here we go. I'm going to throw my thumbs up in there. Okay, and then who does this does this have to be tweeted out to? Yes, you must tweet out Omaha Steaks. That's at Omaha Steaks. That's good. At Hank Strange. At the Tyvin Show. First person to tweet it with tweet it out with the picture with everybody with their thumbs up gets it. And then I will either follow you and or DM you to get your information and we'll get those right out to you. First person. And then put hashtag something on it. No, no. no. That's it. Okay, okay, that's it. Okay. okay. Oh, John from Omaha Steaks. Wait a minute. At Tyvon Shaw, at Omaha Steaks, at Hank Strange. Uh, he added Big Daddy Guns with the thumbs up. Oh, so okay. It's yeah. John. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. It's On the Ranch. Is it On the Ranch that got it? Yep. Is it On, on the, the ranch? ranch? Yep. He says, yeehaw, I want five ounce steaks. There it is. Okay, there you go. All right. Go ahead. So uh, on the ranch, I will DM you and uh, get your information. Is he in, so that's someone here in the chat. Yep. On the ranch. Congratulations to you on the ranch. Get in touch with Tyvin. You have just won yourself some juicy steaks. Yes, sir. And then we have one more. Is five it on the, oh, it's five. on the range. On the range. Yeah, on the range. That's it. Okay. Okay. Did I, I thought you ranch said ranch or range. I thought you said on the ranch. Yeah, it's, it's on, on the range. range. My on the range. There you go. Okay, on the range. Got it. He got uh, it. By the way, Warsaw Patriot says, if anyone gave me a Glock for free, I would throw it into garbage and never use it. Uh-oh. Not good. <laughs> so, well, let's go ahead and do the uh, other binary X real quick. Okay, cool. Okay, you ready for this? Yes, sir. We have one five-pound target. Of uh, excluding uh, targets right here from Binary X. That's USA Chemical Supply. And on Twitter, it's at Best Binary Deal. 
So what we're going to do is everybody give their thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, baby. Take a screenshot. Thumbs up. Real quick. Do we have it. Do we have it locked on timing? Do we have it locked yeah. on? Let's lock it on timing with the thumbs ups. There we go. There you go. Make sure you put at best binary deal at the timing show and at Hank Strange. Yeah. First person tweets it, gets it. All right. Let us know who's the first one you see up there throwing it up. I am watching. Yeah. By the way, by the way, you've gone up to 1,849 views, Sam. Oh, thank you so Ooh. much. Yeah. It's very good. So, so shout out to Omaha Steaks and Binary X, John over there. Everybody, thanks for uh, working with us and everything here on this deal. What Do you need 10,000 views for that? Yeah, you yeah. need to get to 10,000. Okay, you're on the way, man. You know, yeah, I can't. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all. The <laughs> oh, you're welcome, man. Absolutely happy to do it. You know, um, all right, we'll we got a winner. We'll, we'll keep pushing until we get you to ten thousand. Thank okay, you so much. Man. Oh, you got welcome. flying rich. Flying rich. There you go. Flying rich. I will follow you <laughs> also and uh, DM to get your information. You must be inside the continental U.S. to uh, receive the binary X. There you go. And uh, the juice is throwing up jazz hands with a Santa Claus. Thank you, the juice. <laughs> there you uh, go. Recoil Junkie 1981 says, anyone know the safest way to remove very light surface rust from a burl without damaging factory bluing? I have a near mint pre-64 Winchester Model 70 and want and oil, uh, don't want to hurt it. Oil in quad out steel wool. <clears throat> the, if you oil a piece of four aught Four zero steel wool. It won't touch the factory bluing, and it will work on the rust, hundred percent. Okay. What was that? What What is it? Double aught. Four aught. Don't use a double aught. Use four a four aught. Four, four aught. zero okay. steel wool and some oil. Make sure you use oil with it, uh, and go yeah. go lightly on the on the rust, and it'll it'll start working it off. Um, but it shouldn't. Factory bluing is really tough stuff, so it shouldn't hurt factory bluing. Very cool. And uh, by the way, Warsaw Patriot is now officially mad at me. He says, Hank, I'm calling you out. My only pistols I prefer are my M9 Beretta's 92 FS series, the 1911 45s, the Checkmate CZ 75 pistols. <laughs> Pretty um, much every pistol ever made other than Glock. But then he says, he yes. says in, a special, in a special secret thing here that no one else could see, he says, but really, I love Glocks. <laughs> They're my favorite things, and I can't wait until Glock comes out with a carbine. A, a private DM just to hang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't can't wait until G Glock comes out with the Gen Five Point One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just can't wait for the Gen Five Point One. He wants me to do a T-shirt that says Warsaw Patriot loves the Glocks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually designed a uh, a T-shirt making fun of uh, people that you know, like our. Glock fanboys, okay. Oh, and before anybody, you know, kind of uh, says anything about this, this is what I'm carrying today. Yeah, Glock 43, baby. All right. So, but um, I just did a really funny shirt. What I find funny um, for Glock. Oh, everyone's people. showing their Glock 43 now. Everybody's got a Glock 43. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I haven't. I have. I've been. I've been hesitant to release it because I'm probably going to lose half of half of the people, half of my customers, if I do it. Release it. Release it. Show it to me. Maybe I'll put it out there and we'll and we'll, and we'll put in we'll etch on the bottom of it Warsaw Patriot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Warsaw Patriot now just gave me one, two, three, four, five oh, you know, middle hey. fingers. But he retracted it. He retracted it. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know how y'all were showing your watches earlier? Uh huh. I think I need to show you mine. Look, check it out. See it? You like it? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that oh, I wrote a tattoo with a pen on his hand. <laughs> Half past a monkey's ass. Uh huh. <laughs> cool. it was both. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, I just got this. I just got this message. Uh, I'm gonna say who it's from. It says Warsaw Patriot wants a Glock revolver. Glock revolver. <laughs> yeah, a Glock ver. There you go. You know we, you know we actually did. You know we actually did that last year for uh, April Fool's Day. Yeah, I saw. Was that you guys that did it? We, that was us. Hold on, let me let me find. Let me see if I can I find that. I remember seeing that and being like, 
they're making what? <laughs> <laughs> and we uh, we we like we did it really well with Photoshop and stuff. Let me see if I can uh, let me see if I can find here. I can probably share my screen, or I can link you to it. Yeah. So uh, there we go. Okay, let's go easy on Warsaw Patriot. He's he's triggered. <laughs> Who's he's, Warsaw Patriot? He's uh, one of the he's one of our fans in the chat that we're just teasing. <laughs> yeah, we're just having a little fun at his expense because he especially hates Glocks. Oh, he does. Oh, yeah. yeah, he says CZ seventy five B all the way. He looks good with my AK. He's also a rapper. Oh, he or, is. Oh, really? No, no, he's not. <laughs> I just want to see like how far can I push him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He probably would rather have me call him a rapper than call him a Glock fan. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. You pull. So you're pulling up the T-shirt. Uh, I'm trying to find that page. I don't know where the heck it's going. <laughs> I was just getting everybody's address. And congratulations, everybody that won the uh, the Binary X and the Omaha Stakes tonight. So congratulations. We'll get uh, everything ordered tomorrow, and hopefully it gets out to you within the next two, three days. Okay, awesome. And then while Sam's pulling that up, I'm going to take a chance here to remind you guys, um, Brownells has the Black Rifle Friday deals going on right now, and they made a special landing page for us here at the Hank Strange situation. There is, a, there is a link to this in the description, guys. So if you go into the description, you'll see a thing from Brownells. You click through that. Everything that Brownells has – on sale for uh, Black Friday, all the different deals they have going on up until the 26th, you can get 10% off on top of that. So whatever yeah. whatever sales they have going on, you can get 10% off on top of that. Um, you just yeah. click through our link, and then um, if you're if you're spending more than 50 bucks, you get free shipping. And at the end, you put in the code M E F, which is what Mount, uh, what is it, Mike, Mike Echo something. Oh, okay. M E F, Mike Echo Foxtrot. Fox Mike, shot, yeah, yeah Ma Mike Echo Fox shot. There you go. So check that out. You know, there's links. We have a whole bunch of other links. We have an Amazon link in there. There's lots of deals going on on Amazon. Lola found a, a Dremel 4000 for 44 bucks. Good deal. Wow. Yeah, 44 bucks. And um, you can click through our Amazon link to get that. Um, Safety Harbor Firearms has KES stocks. Walter, you want to tell us about that real quick? Yeah, all, all of our compact entry stocks are 20% off. Um, the and that includes the uh, the stocks for the for the SH2 uh, our steel stocks the steel stock and the mono stock our rifle but they'll work on anything that, that you put on real on an AR15 lower or AR10 lower they'll work on that um, and also the pistol kit that we sell that uses the Kess components um, but it's a true pistol stock there's no there's no um, there's no stock attached to it. That's also 20% off. So Yeah, it's a little stubby for anyone who does this. It's really cool. A really short little yeah. pistol. So not a pistol to use with a, a brace. Then uh, that's, that's, that's the way to go with that. But yeah, yeah. That was 20% off, yeah. Absolutely. So make sure you check that out. Safety Harbor Firearms for that. Uh, SafetyHarborFirearms.com. We also uh, and there's also a link there for Safety Harbor, by the way. Clecker right. Knives, Clecker Knives has 30% off. What's up, Walter? What do you want to say? That's till Monday at midnight. No. Monday at midnight. Till Monday at midnight, folks. Sunday at midnight. Sunday. 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 Sorry. Sunday at midnight. All right. Also, we have a 30% off code, and there's a link in the description for Clecker Knives. Optics Planet also has a bunch of deals. We have a thing for that. Gunprime.com, lots of good deals on Keltex on there. And we also have a link for that. We saw a PMR30 for $339. Awesome. Um, from Gunprime.com. Stag Arms has like some really good deals up to 50% off on their website. And we've got something for that. Primary Optics, there's a bunch of Primary Arms Optics listed in there. And you can get them for free shipping, plus either the mount or the scope ring that goes along with it. Uh, Faxon has 10% off store-wide. There's a link in the description. And, of course, we have a link there to Forged from Freedom. That's yeah. this dude right here, my buddy, Sam. Forged from Freedom. He is the man behind the T-shirt. Yes, sir. <laughs> and also the awesome dude who printed up <laughs> that T-shirt. I also have uh, safety uh, harbor links in my description. And I will go uh, after the video is over, the live stream is over, I'll go ahead and put Forged from Freedom. 
and the other links that Hank is talking about. That way you guys could check out the awesome deals as well. Absolutely. Thank so. Thank yeah, so thanks much. a lot for that time and we appreciate yeah, it. Sure. Yeah, definitely appreciate it. Yeah, Not and then I think Sam has like, what do you have, Sam? You have 20% off? Um, yeah, 20% off until midnight. Um, uh, if you go to our homepage, you can see the countdown and all that kind of stuff. And the code is there as well. 20% um, off site-wide. Uh, with the exception of the uh, Mac shirt that we were talking about just released today. Yeah, absolutely. So go because in there. We're, we're, because we're, we're giving proceeds to Hero Hunt, so we thought, you know, we want to maximize off of that. So absolutely, it's not included. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Those Christmas tree shirts. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, hit me up. Hit me up uh, through email or, or phone, uh, Walter. Yeah, and just a note about uh, Forge from Freedom. You can go up to seven extra large, right, Sam? Uh, on some designs, yeah, uh, but most of them are like six XL, I think. Six extra large. That's pretty. That's pretty good. That's right. a massive shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right. Well, don't think of it as a massive shirt. Think of it as a lovely nightgown for your lady. For me and four other people. Right. That's yeah. right. That's awesome. Depending on who those those four are. And the yeah. two <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the six left you got too. Well, if it's supermodels, baby face, you could get like twenty. You're just you're just gonna die in that t shirt. <laughs> it's like it's like I say, that's not a that's not a t shirt. That's a tarp for the side of your house. Yeah. 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 But it's, it's like awesome. if you ever get stranded on a, on an island somewhere and you're building a boat and need a sail. Right, it's big enough. There yeah, absolutely, go. and there are yeah. some people out there, some tall, some tall guys, some big people right. out there, you know. And we've got, we've got, you know, Forge from Freedom has a T-shirt for you, so you yeah. Know, yep. Hey, they we also have patches and things like that going on. Yeah, we've got a couple of cool new patches coming out. Uh, one of them is the uh, full rules of Pew Pew, and uh, like and it's it's awesome. I think I that's one of my favorite patches, and then. Uh, and then we've got the uh, Military Arm Channel uh, Limited Edition Six Semper Tyrannus one coming okay. out. Very cool. Uh, they're, okay. they're both on the website. Awesome. Did you find that? Sh would you find that thing you were going to show us? Yeah, I did. I actually put it in the chat. I put it in the oh. group chat, and I also put it in the live chat. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see. Wow, that is a good. That is a pretty good uh, Photoshop. <laughs> Yeah, Let's see. the smoke and everything. That's bad. <laughs> well, right. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, love the, I love the triggers they put on it. <laughs> I think. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta make that. You gotta make that. Oh god, that's good. I think if Glock ever made a revolver, it needs to look like this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that will be the G, so, you know, what is it? The G38? No, no, can't do that one. Can't do it as a G. Whatever, it would be G. What are we up to now? We, we, G47? We, call, we called it the RVL38. Yeah, the RVL38. Very cool. Okay, and it, awesome. And if you scroll down the page, you'll you'll see the, the golden nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T, I pity the fool. <laughs> it's April Fools. <laughs> it's April Fools. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's funny. All right, very cool. All right, so you know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go down the line here and wrap this up with everyone. Um, let's see, Tyvin. I want to thank you so much for coming on the show, man. For doing the great giveaways. What do you yes, want sir. the folks out there to know about? What do you want them to to? Uh, how should they connect with you? Yeah, if you're into gaming and trucking vlogs and stuff like that, I'm just now starting to get back over into the guns and stuff that I used to do way back in the day. So we're getting getting back into that, but we still do the gaming. So if you want to do that, come check us out, The Tyvin Show on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. It's at The Tyvin Show, Instagram, Facebook. All the links are down in the description of any of my videos on my channel. So go check them out. And thanks for having me on, Hank. I'm learning. I'm being educated. And I got awesome guys like you to come hang out with. So it's pretty cool. So thank you. Awesome, man. We always enjoy having you on. You're a good dude. You you yes, help us out a lot in the background and all that kind of stuff, which we appreciate. So Not a you know, thanks very much for coming on. All right, Walter. What do you what would you like the folks to uh, follow up on, check you out on? Uh, what are your Facebook. final words? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, we got twenty percent off sale on the website. Um um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, man.
Okay, that's right. Tomorrow we're busting caps. Okay, very yeah. cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sam. I've got a message here from uh, Chris B. Armament and Axes. He says, please, please, please have Sam show his guitars and amps real quick. Yeah, those are time before he goes. Yeah, yeah the folks would like to see I'm, that one more time. I'm in the messy room right now. Right now. I'll show you real quick. Chris B. is a huge guitar yeah. music enthusiast. Big yeah, time. he is a musician, so he would really like to get a chance to see. I've got something like I've got something like sixty guitars. Whoa, just, pick wow. up, just pick up a really nice guitar and go. Ooh, six ah, zero? let it show him. He said six zeros and sixty. Yeah, yeah, he said six yeah, zero. But, but I, this is this is the messy room. I only got a few here, um, but I'll show you. Here, I'll show you one of my favorites. Hold on. Okay, please. Wow, man, it's like me and guns. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sam doesn't. Sam doesn't play a, and he and he owns a gun store. <laughs> He makes t-shirts, shoot guns. While he's picking up a, while he's picking a guitar, I'll, I'll throw my. Oh wait, is he back already? No. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. there he is. Oh. There he is. Okay. Oh, there he comes. Okay. That was quick. Uh. See, so, Walter, I told you. Hold up, this is. Whoa. This is my nine. Oh. This is my nineteen sixty-three, uh, Fender, an original sixty-three Fender Stratocaster. Holy oh, Moses! Oh, oh, oh. Wow. That thing is getting a ringer. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And I bet you it still sounds as good as it looks. Yeah, it sounds better. It sounds better than what it sounded 40 years ago. Yep. Mm -hmm. got it. And awesome. uh, I've, got a, I've got a new rosewood neck on it. It's a one-piece quarter sawn. You can see here all the figuring. Wow. On the Very neck, because nice. the, the, the original neck uh, was played beyond repair. <laughs> I think so I, I think Crispy to... just had a had a joy gas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is this is one of probably one of my favorites. You know, it plays like butter and sounds awesome. I'll probably plug it in next time and just show you guys. There you go. Oh, sweet, Good. sweet. He wanted to know. Hey, if you we need a YouTube call. video since you got a YouTube channel now. You need yeah. to bust out a rhyme. Yeah, dude. man, put a put up a video of you playing the guitar, and we will share the living the yes. out of oh. it. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I I I'm I'm more of I'm actually more of an amp collector. I like to uh, I like to collect old amps. Really? You know, like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I got like, like thousand real quick. Like right behind. <laughs> yeah. <you. laughs> wow! Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that Fender head right there? Yeah. Yes. That is a that is an original blackface uh, sixty three I believe, sixty three amp. That is awesome. And and it it sounds absolutely it's it sounds much better than what I can play I can tell you that much. And yeah. I've got I've got some more vintage amps right there. There's another vintage one yeah. right there. All the gun guys are saying so, do a video where you show off your collection. Seriously, that's, I would uh, watch that. Yeah, that's an original. You see the Marshall right there. See that Marshall? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that is an original uh, 80, 80, 1981 JCM 800. For those who probably know about this stuff, uh, this I is basically this is basically pretty much the the amp that made the sound on the Appetite for Destruction uh, Guns N' Roses album. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So I got it from a guy in the UK. I actually bought it in the UK and had it shipped over. And that is the guy I bought. It the guy I bought it from doesn't even know the value of this amp. <laughs> and then I see some Beretta boxes in there, which is awesome. Yeah, and, then there's, and then there's a Beretta box right there. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> that is some dedication to yeah. to collecting right. amps. Yeah, absolutely. That's freaking awesome, man. Yeah, you should do a video of all that and yeah, uh, let yeah. us know. You know, I yeah. bet you you get that 10,000 really, really fast. I'd watch it yeah, for sure. I'd... Not that you won't get 10,000 views from, from, the, from the video. You're just going to get it within the next 24 hours of making yeah. the video. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get I'll, – I'll probably put something together and yeah. put it up there. Opt out of gun control says Gwarn. <laughs> Guitar born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Very cool. All right. So, you know what? Um, Babyface. Oh, sorry, we went to a tangent here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. um, quick, quick note. If anybody is in the Tampa area, I will be at Shooter's World tomorrow at about about eleven o'clock in the morning. If anyone wants to come shoot. Oh, you're buying breakfast at Waffle House or something? Shooter's World. Shooter's World. And you buy your own ammo, but you can shoot my guns. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you but go. Yeah, I'll be I'll be shooting there. I don't know if we have anybody in the the area, but yeah, anyone anyone in Tampa, right? Shooter's World in Tampa. Babyface will be Shooter's there. World Tampa. It's on. Um, on the uh, uh, north side of town. 
<clears throat> yeah. But besides that, hopefully I have some videos coming out of Beautiful. milling machine stuff. So we'll see what yeah. happens. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And then Warsaw Patriot says, um, and we're, and we're going to be nice since we were making fun of him earlier. He says, if you want to see a nice, sweet guitar, look up Jimmy DeResta, um said channel. He made an AK-47 guitar. What? Uh, I've seen. You've seen it? Oh, I think so. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Very cool. All right, so that's it. I hope, you know, everyone enjoys the rest of their time off here. It's Friday. You got Saturday and Sunday. Before you go, you're not sure. going to want to go back to work on Monday. <laughs> I, I can tell you that right now. But uh, just, just prepare yourself. Yes, yeah. sir. Be prepared for it. I want to thank everyone for joining. Walter, happy anniversary to you and Peggy. Thank we you. love you guys. We love you guys. Thanks for joining. Uh, Sam, thanks for coming in and, and, and really, you know, showing us some cool stuff, including the T-shirts. Thanks for having me, man. I, oh, I, you're I, really, I, I really enjoyed doing this. Oh, awesome, man. You're welcome on anytime. Babyface, thanks for being here. Time and Show, of course, thanks for giving away the steaks and the and the bang bangs. <laughs> yes, sir. Not a problem. Yeah, we appreciate it. All right. Peace out, people. We will Peace. see you on Monday. Thanks, Monday. Thanks for the Monday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and retweet. Monday, we're giving away that dream gun, the 308. That's yes, a Monday. Are you uh, 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock? Yeah, 7 at 7. Bye. All right. We're out of here. Peace. Peace.